All right. And we are live. The last word with Lord Cognito, Annie Bontis returns. Hot campfire talk. And man, this feels like Flashpoint long point. <laughs> oh man. Strap in everybody. We are going to be here for a little while. If you're taking us with you on the go, that might be the best way to go. Um, mm. Audio on the go is going to be a long one today. So yeah, yes. like holy crap. Yes. It's been a, just in case you didn't think we were going to have much to talk about. There might've been a couple of leaks here. <laughs> um, apparently Dylan took over Luke's job of breaking his keyboard. Mm -hmm. And oh my God, like, so much, so much to talk about. Yeah, tons, tons to talk about, man. I mean, it is, we were talking about this offline, just like, even Forsaken, you know what I'm saying, and, and Taken King, I, I I can't remember this just sure, sheer volume of information, like almost week after week. It's, it's just been, I've never seen... Could you imagine if they held all this stuff and try to throw it on long? Like, we'd be... No, you'd be reading stuff. Like, oh. you'd be, like, trying to boot up the game be like, hold on, I gotta read a book first. Yeah, like... How long? It, I'll it, be with you in two days. <laughs> I'm, gonna know, I'm gonna know life this book. Exactly, man. Like, this thing is a phased rollout that had to be done. So, yeah, man, this, this is intense, so... Lot to discuss, lot going on. Been playing a bit. I'll talk about myself first because I've yeah. been having fun. <laughs> um, yeah, been playing a bit, man. Um, lot, back on my black armor gun. I finally got my Izanami, man. Hey, I finally go. got that quest, bro. Oh, I it's... feel for you guys. Hey, you guys that did that when it was in its hay, and that now you'll be lag. I could see why people want to throw a control at the screen, like with that. Oh, <laughs> that shit, now you'll be here and. Do this over here. And With this gun here, this... Oh, yo, they made something so crazy that they... Like, the community just was stumped. They just had to let, let it go. So that was that. Got the armor pieces. I mean, it was just so many steps, Um, you know, that I was just like, wow, this is a long quest. You know what I mean? So I got the ornament for it. Got the Ronin. You know what I'm saying? So now next step will be getting my behind in the... um. Menage, heroic menagerie because I want the catalyst now. Nice. now I got to finish it off. But yeah, it's been a lot of that. I've been uh, doing the registry. I salute to you for helping me with the uh, Shattered oh, Throne nice. Backpack Edition. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that was cool. And um, yeah, meta right now. What I've been rocking right now. Right now, it's all about... Um, I've, been doing, I, I was, I've been on my Juju mode. Still been on my Juju as far as my PvP game. But um, yo, SMGs right now, man. 900s. 900s i got i got the curated bug out brag and i'm causing problems man there you causing go. problems i'm feeling good multi-kill clip it's feeling good right now so that's that's cogs i'm gonna start a little segment cogs loadout of the week uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah so we're doing that we're doing bug out we're doing uh juju you know and then um heavy right now because uh mountaintop got nerfed we're, we're throwing back um i got a, I got an outrageous fortune i don't have your god roll Swarm, but I got I got outrageous this for hey, That's what I'm It works. Gets mm -hmm. the job. What's been going on with you? Uh I did a little bit of nightfall stuff or have you contributed to the Mars event, sir? I, I have been terrible. I have not Yeah, get get yourself in there, man. Get in there. Help you out. You guys got it. No. <laughs> Go do your nightfall part. That's all I gotta say. If you are listening to this and it's still the week of September third, mm -hmm. I've got a guide out there. Esoteric is a guide out there for the five minute nightfall. I've got a longer mm -hmm. one, but hopefully you'll survive that one. Either way, <laughs> do your nightfalls. That's pretty much all that's remaining is the two nightfalls and killing hive. Yeah, they knocked I out escalation that. protocol. They knocked out the override frequencies mm -hmm. in two days. Mm -hmm. Like they were over 50% wow. on those like on day one. And even Bungie wow. was like, damn. And then two wow. days, those are knocked out and the nightfalls are the slow ones. So everybody's living in escalation protocol. And now it's like, mm -hmm. now we got to do the nightfalls. And it's like, oh, mm -hmm. So yeah, those remained. Uh, did those mm -hmm. streamed while I did those? Had a good stream doing that. Um, nice. So let's see. I beat mm -hmm. the final boss in Remnant. Okay. Okay. Uh, so I made you it through. Remnant on. Uh, I did that one solo because my friends were mm -hmm. like, "Hey, go see if you can try it." Then I just, as soon as I started doing it, I was like, "All right, I have to figure this out." So I did that by myself. Mm -hmm. Um. It's a really cool game. Remnant is cool. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, like, I could go back in, play, like, seven different bosses I haven't seen. Nice. So as you go through that game, it's it's just, I don't know, it's it's a fun shooting Dark Souls division. You've got some leveling up to it. Different mm -hmm. abilities that you'll unlock with your guns that have cool things. 
Mm -hmm. There's a lot more to that than I thought, and I think it might be like 40 bucks. It's so much so worth it. Like, it is a really fun game. Is it perfect? No, but is it hella fun? Absolutely. Like, if you want to break, like, Remnant is really good. There's a lot of stuff coming, obviously. Mm -hmm. Monster mm -hmm. Hunter came out, then we've got Borderlands come in, but I'm surprised Remnant's you didn't get tempted game. by that. I know what? you like Monster Hunter. I'm surprised uh, you didn't get tempted by Monster it's Hunter. It's been so long since I've played it. Like, and I haven't really played on PlayStation much in a while anyway. It's like, I mean, I probably would mm -hmm. play it on controller because that's where it feels natural. But mm -hmm. it's been so long since I played. If I just tried to boot up, I had decent gear. I'd probably be okay to go into, like, the Iceborne stuff. But mm -hmm. I'd be so out of practice. And that's that's a good, like, couple hundred hours again if you start that thing over. So I just don't know which one I'm going to have the time for. And I think mm -hmm. if I do anything separate, it'll be Borderlands. So. No doubt, no doubt. Fair enough, fair enough. We got that coming. Yeah, man. Good stuff, man. Getting getting that getting those other games in during this little Yeah, had a little hey, break. Period. I mean, I got I grinded out there was one night, I think I was you were there and I was turning them all in. I got all my PvP weapons, so my yeah. pinnacles were checked off. I like how you did that. That's kinda nice. Got mm -hmm. it all recorded Boy. together. So it's just kinda like kind of stepping back. I put my I got my couple nightfalls in, did my escalation, did like five override mm -hmm. frequencies, like did my quick piece this week. I didn't mind. You got to do yours. <laughs> no, I have to do it anyway because um, you got to do at least like, one nightfall to get the emblem. Yeah. Yep. I got to get the exact, and then the um, I want the emblem. Then there was something else I was working on that I got requires some um, nightfall work, so I can knock two birds out with one stone and just get it done. So yeah, definitely I will be in there. I was just being lazy. Plus, again, I was determined to get Izanami. I was like, I'm getting this done. I don't care how long it's gonna take. I just need it out of my life like that. Was <laughs> needed to be done. Just wanted it out. Mm -hmm. Well, yes. at least you can say that one's done. But yeah, the Mars community event has been going. Um, I know we probably talked about this briefly last week. How much mm -hmm. do you think it's really worth it? Yeah. We have a little emblem. We have the menagerie chests, menagerie chests mm -hmm. uh, potentially getting added. I don't know if they're going to finish it today, which is right. when if they finished it today at reset that we could actually get the... Um, the first chest like bonus right but i don't know if mm -hmm. they'll get that this week but probably starting next week is when we'll start seeing those uh right. so we'll have double drops going forward and then at least for mm -hmm. the rest of this season for the additional weeks we'll get a few extra so that last week right. if you want to go run a little menagerie then yeah man that'll be the time to do it and it'll, it'll yeah, go yeah. back to having i think two permanently though once this season's over yeah i think yeah that has to happen definitely yeah give people more incentive get up in there man i, I love the activity i love the activity but people they, you know, they, they don't want to do all that just for, you know, one little thing, especially when they had riches before. So, you know, now that go. But, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. So that's most of what's going on currently. But we got a mm -hmm. butt ton of news about what is coming in the future. So would you prefer yes. to start with packs or packs and kind of the exotics involved there? Do we want to go spoilerish or leakage? Yeah. Let's go leakage because I've that I've actually terrible, been by the way, everybody. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, that does sound. Shout out to it. <laughs> Not that kind of leakage. Not that kind of leakage, Sean. Yeah. That <laughs> Spoiler territory. But um, yeah, man. Now we gotta we gotta talk about it because um, I've actually I kept my head to the ground it's like i wasn't I, I was i was in ostrich mode like i was not oh, i, I was couldn't purposely... it was it blew it fell yeah. through twitter and i was just like oh there's a new exotic oh uh, yep yeah so it didn't take long. Um, I've been so lucky. at least give so you guys tell me what's names, going on. Mm -hmm. spoiler warning for a little while. If you mm -hmm. guys are not too keen on it, skip ahead, like, mm -hmm. you know, five, ten minutes, who knows. Uh, yeah. But we got a couple actual screenshots because people got to play with the Shadowkeep build when they went to PAX. Right. They got to do, I think it was, they did the Gambit thing again, and then mm -hmm. they got to do 3v3 elimination yes. was, the, <laughs> was the wager this time. That was the it's wager match. Mode. That mode again keeps on coming back. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. But people were like snapping screenshots of monitors, pulling up inventories, checking collections. Yeah, so people were digging, and uh, mm -hmm. it started a couple things. So we have first. Continue, on, continue. This is good. I know where you're going. Continue. Well, I'm going to save part of it for later because that comes into all the little sets okay. we're going to talk about. Okay. So. All right. All right. Cool. Cool. We'll say that. Unless now. you want to do the sets now, which we can, because the. The whole patch changes or something else. So we might as well. Let's just do it. let's just do it. All right. So we'll first start with the weapons. So mm -hmm. some of you guys may have seen from the preview. There's like mm -hmm. that crazy void rocket launcher thing. Yes. Well, that is exactly what that's going to be. It's called mm -hmm. the Deathbringer, and mm -hmm. it's big. It's purple. It has one of the most unique profiles we've ever seen. It does look really cool. It's got this big like 
kind of almost like bird mouth beak to it. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, the two perks are Dark Deliverance and Dark Descent. The rocket mm -hmm. fires a projectile that drops powerful void orbs when it explodes. And players can also remote detonate the rocket mid-flight. The farther the void orb falls, the more damage they deal. Interesting. Yeah. So I don't know if it's because mm. it looked like they were like flying around and tracking, but I didn't mm -hmm. know if like you have to be above like and then it mm -hmm. falls like a carpet bomb type thing, like dropping from yeah. above. Yeah. So Good I don't know. Thing. Like that'll be that'll be interesting. So mm -hmm. that one looks really cool. Mm -hmm. um, everyone on Twitter at Bungie seemed to call. They changed their name to dollar sign machine gun zero dot name dollar sign. Um, <laughs> that's the new machine gun that is definitely very unique. Um, so it's 120 rounds per minute. So it is ultra slow for a machine ultra gun. Slow, yeah, that's slow. Is even what's what's fixed odds? Like fixed odds, like three something. Uh, I've got it on one of my characters. Fixed odds is slow. fixed odds is slow, but I mean this is like. Mm -hmm. People have described this thing almost like a linear fusion rifle to wow. equate it. Yeah, fixed mm -hmm. odds is 360. It's a third yeah. of that. Wow, that's slow. So the main perk is pyrotoxin rounds. The gun fires powerful explosive ammunition. It only has 13 rounds in the magazine, but does very high damage. Little brief mm -hmm. things I heard from different places I was listening to. Like, we're talking one hit headshot, two bodies. Whoa. Yeah. So it's going to be quite powerful, yeah, um, but working in a very different way. Yeah, it's definitely going to be mm -hmm. very slow but hard hitting. I mean, the thing looks mm -hmm. like you're walking around like with you. You took this off of like a stationary mm -hmm. turret. The barrel is just huge, okay. so big. Okay. So yeah, small clip, mm -hmm. big damage, definitely slow fire in mm -hmm. there. And then right, we right. had the Divinity Trace Rifle, the one yeah, that they had sorry. talked about before. So this mm -hmm. is the exotic. This is the raid exotic, apparently. Okay, leaking already. Yep. Bloody knuckles Spoiler in the chat. What's up, buddy? I see you, brother. Uh, so What's it'll going? be an arc trace rifle. Mm -hmm. um, and it's got two burks. Judgment causes the weapon to create an aura around the enemy that disrupts and weakens them with some sustained damage. And then Ooh, penance. Sounds like a debuff. It's a debuff. So there's your, you're doing damage and debuffing while the rest of your crew can go to town. And mm -hmm. then penance causes enemies enveloped in judgment to take damage. Okay. Okay. So this is like a almost a support kind of. Okay. Yeah. I mean, this will do yeah. damage, but it's definitely going to be impact is ultra low. Obviously, stability mm -hmm. is maxed. Um, magazine. What's the, what's the archetype again? This is a trace rifle. This is a trace. So it basically sustained. It's almost like sustained tractor in a way. You know, yeah, like hold it on there. Deep. Yeah, they said like yeah. it makes a crit spot. So if you hold it on there and they're in that aura, everybody mm -hmm. else is firing. So this will be like. And this will be your support mm -hmm. build as well. So as we were talking God. about previously with the artifact yeah. and having that like void grenade do it, this would be another mm -hmm. way to do that support build. Yeah, man. So and this is this is exotic or legendary? One exotic. That's exotic. Okay. Because the reason why I was asking, I was like, okay, well, maybe I was thinking you could get like creative and, and have Lumina and, and you can be real all support with it, but it's exotic. Well, that'd be cool. But yeah, that'd be the ultimate yeah. support build, but that'd not quite. Oh. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, that's Divinity. Those are the three exotics that seem to have leaked. Mm -hmm. Um, there is some armor as well. Yes. So you've got the storm for you, for Mr. Warlock over here. We've got storm yeah. dancers, brace warlock chest. Uh, mm -hmm. when players mm -hmm. defeat enemies with storm trance, they increase the damage of storm trance. Ooh, wait, wait, this is exotic flavors? This is exotic. Wait, wait, bring that back, bring that back, bring that back. When let me, let players me hear defeat time. enemies with Storm Trance, they mm -hmm. increase the damage of Storm Trance. Oh, so we stacking, baby. We stacking. Yeah, okay. so if you, I mean, you trans it, you won't be able to go Crown of mm -hmm. Tempest in this for, like, Ultra mm -hmm. Forever long Yeah, 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 that's what I was about to say. You but if that. you do Transcendence at least on top tree, I think. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then this one... I don't know if there's a couple ads you can kill, like, or if you're killing enemies around like a main boss or something like that. If you mm -hmm. can get a collection, either you're just gonna like vaporize like a major or something like that when you kill some small ones. Definitely be doing some power stuff there. Yeah, it's key, key is gonna be how much the damage scaling is going to be, but um, yeah, it's not, it sounds interesting. It sounds interesting. Chess be okay, okay. Yeah. okay. So we got the I Phoenix like Cradle Titan legs. These are the ones we heard about with the Sun Warrior buff. Lasts mm -hmm. twice as long, and allies gain the buff when they walk through sun spots. Like, 
So if you've got mm-hmm. sunspots around the room, everybody's buffed, you're healing them, giving them overshields, chunking stuff around, like Sun Warrior potentially has more of that support role as well. I mean, mm-hmm. you'll throw it, but it's more like, hey, you throw it on you and maybe one other person, and then you can chuck them for a while. But mm-hmm. yeah, definitely giving a little more benefit to Sun Warrior because I don't, I that does not get touched like ever. Nobody yeah. uses Bottom Tree at all. At all. Zero. And then the Hunter one, we've seen that before. That's the one with like kind of the veil, the glowing veil. So we've seen that mm-hmm. one before. Uh, but those mm-hmm. are the main exotics that leaked. Uh, we had some brief people getting a feeling for the way subclasses were working. And we've got full details on the patch notes. So we'll go over right. those in detail. We'll go over that, yeah. But we're going to jump to the bottom of the TWAB. <laughs> main <laughs> reason is because when you go to the bottom, we got some <laughs> armor sets. Yeah. And this is what you're talking about, right? Yeah, <laughs> Destiny. Let's get that Destiny on. Let's go. So if you guys yeah. are listening on audio or checking the video out, uh, you are looking at our mm-hmm. faces. But if you guys go to uh, This Week at Bungie for the week of September 5th, um, mm-hmm. near the bottom, say add to your collection, they show kind of the rotating gifts of all the armor sets. Mm-hmm. So for anybody in chat and also for you, since I've we've probably got our own opinions and warlocks mm-hmm. and titans may differ, hunters are kind of our... <laughs> Hunters are a middle vote, but we'll have to see. Yes. Uh, yes so we're yes. going to go down the sets, and I want to talk about where you're going to get them from, and then I want your thoughts mm-hmm. on each set. Which ones you're like, sure. cool, I got to have it. Maybe I'm digging it, digging it now. We'll see. Mm-hmm. Let's get it. So first set we've got is the one that we've seen in a lot of promotions. It's the Dream mm-hmm. Bane armor set. It's your <laughs> spacesuits. So you got yes. your space shaman. I've got mm-hmm. my astronaut, and the hunter is somewhere in between. Somewhere in between. So yeah. These are acquired from activities on the moon. Probably something through Eris, just probably the legendary drops that are coming on the moon. Uh, mm-hmm. We got spacesuits. So what are you feeling? How are you digging your warlock shaman now that you get to see it in full rotating glory? It's growing on me. I ain't going to lie. It's growing on me. I hated it. It's still stupid. It, it, the mask is dumb. I don't know what does that relate to the moon besides the backpack, but it's like... I don't know what they, you know what? It almost feels like Eris had some say on that. <laughs> oh, yeah. I feel like Eris influenced the mask. But, you know, it looks cool. Titan's looking very cool, feeling. Every time I see Yolan, I, I just think Tyke and I. That's, I, I oh, literally, yeah. I mean, it, I'm just like, just announce I wonder Tychonaut. if it's honestly like just an altered model of the Tyke and Yeah, it's Tyke like The mask and... is a little lower, a little shinier, a couple tweaks to yeah. it, little rings on it. But yeah, it definitely mm-hmm. looks like the Tyke The Hunter. It's fine. I mean, it's it's all right. Mm -hmm. It's. I mean, yeah, it's fine. Like Mm -hmm. mine, like the Titan. Yeah, I was like, I look like a space band, so I'm cool with mine for the Dream Mm -hmm. Bane set. Yeah, the Hunter. eh, Not Mm -hmm. my favorite, Mm -hmm. but we'll we'll go down. And without wasting any time, I'm honestly surprised they're showing this. Yes. This is the big giant point of contention. So, yes. the Garden yes. of Salvation Raid Armor set acquired from the Garden of Salvation Raid. Mm. What do you think, sir? Um, I think people was blowing it out of proportion. Like, I get it. I remember that set because I yeah. had the yellow one for the Warlock. I, first of all, I'm biased. I like this set. It's Osiris. You already know where I'm at. So let's just get that out. I am compromised. <laughs> Oh, yeah. My opinion is got that like I love that set. I love that it kind of upgrades. You got looks like I'm. I'm assuming is that ornament or just um. I'm like, wondering you, if that's like a raid stuff. ornament or if it's just straight up gonna drop with that glow. Yeah, if, is is that the glow? Is that like a solstice chroma thing that we add on? You know, it look it look cool. It looks like a combination of the you know the Osiris joint, but it almost feel have like a little you know a little dark with it. You know, so I'm loving my warlock. I'm, first of all, if a warlock, let me tell you the secret to me. If the warlock helmet is lit, I'm already in. I love that helmet. Like, I feel like I'm a Vex. So I'm in. Oh, yeah. You're you know, basically what you a feel. goblin. Yeah, I'm a goblin. Straight up. I'm a goblin. Yeah. I'm good. What do you feel about the uh, the Titan? I'm curious for you, you, you Titan now. Where, where are you at with this one? I mean, first off, um, I mean, people are like, oh, that's a reskin on the armor. Mm-hmm. Technically... But it's like reskin <laughs> plus like four hours of work. Like yeah. they took each piece. I mean, you see the detail more in the faces. Like there's a mm-hmm. lot more intricacy to every piece. The mm-hmm. glows are the glows. Like this is what we're talking about. Rise of Iron yeah. Armor now. This is the stuff we were like begging for. Wait, no. Where is our Crota's End? Where is our Taken King? Where are our armor with those crazy mm-hmm. glows and glowing spectral pointy mm-hmm. things? And and we got them. So like first off, yes, I'm, it's freaking sick. Like. 
Uh, just the fact that they all do. Warlock is looking good. I'm digging mm-hmm. it. You guys, that and the Hunter, you both have some pretty big uh, pointy bits mm-hmm. off your shoulders that I do like. Yeah, I'm feeling a Warlock, bro. Like it, I'm, I'm, I'm all about it. So, you know, I'm biased, man. You know, Osiris is my man. This is Vex. I, I always like the Vex as an enemy. I've always like. They probably like. They probably like. I know everybody likes High Fallen, but I'm the opposite. I'm like a Cabal and Vex kind of guy. You know, because Cabal, they just big and brew. They they hit the gym. I like the Cabal. They big and groovy. And then the Vex is just tech cool. We still don't know their motivations. And I'm feeling it, man. I'm all about it. This, this is hot, man. Yeah. So one some person pointed out, though, I thought it was pretty funny. They're pretty yeah. sure every Titan in every one of these pictures is a female because they're like, I don't think Big Boy can fit in the frame. He's going to be like Titan, out here. Titans be hitting it. So they probably had to do that purpose. You're right. You're right. Yeah, so I think when I see it on like the male Titan with like kind of that broader look, I mean, there are some other ones later that I'm really digging. I actually really like the Hunter cloak on this one. Just because mm. it has the Vex kind of parts that are missing, but they're still. Yeah, angled. I didn't even peep that. Yeah. And the Hunter's shoulders and the Hunter helm with like the little like spoiler yes. almost going back in the top. Like, yeah, the the little shock fin. Yes. The Hunter You're looks right. good on this set. I'll be Hunter honest. Beat. I got to see Big Boy Titan, but yeah, Hunter and Warlock, I think Titans are probably on. I mean, the glows look cool no matter what. If I'm wearing it, cool Mm -hmm. for sure. But I think I think Titans got the lower end of this one. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about the Titan helmet all the way. Not that it's it's just average to me. I don't I I feel like like I feel like we've seen that model and they made the top of it glow in the back of the head. But Mm -hmm. overall, I would say, um, yeah, I would probably Mm -hmm. put it on the low end of the three if I had to agree. Agree. Now, which. I was like, I know we kind of blew past it. Are you going to mm-hmm. give this whole like reskin controversy much effort, thought, or otherwise, or do you even do you care? Do you think I'm like not, raid yeah. gear should ever be reskinned? Is it a big deal? Are you like pitchforks and torches right. and picket signs? And I mean, up? not me. I mean, here, here's the thing look, if it was a straight carbon copy, to me, this is what I call like a remaster. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, this is a reimagining of something. This is not straight the same thing so you know look if if dudes you know feel a way i get it you know raid armor yes raid armor should feel special but y'all can't tell me that it don't look good you know what i'm saying like if, to me it's like it looks good so i don't know i, I it, it to me is a whole bunch of nothing i think honestly this is people behind the scenes they were at packs they were seeing stuff they weren't supposed to see so now it's out there and now we got this big stink about you know, whether or not they should be even attempting like that. But put it this way. This how this is my counter. Like, this beloved D1 armor that we still haven't seen. Like, think about, like, um, the Auric stuff. And, you know what I'm saying? Just, like, you know, taking take King armor and stuff. Like, that's fly armor. That These are assets that are not coming. You mean to tell me if they didn't bring that back but reimagined it, you wouldn't be hi- Like, people wouldn't be hyped? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, well, I mean, it's good design. Somebody was, like, just throwing mm. counterpoints at this too, and they're just saying, yeah, "Oh, over. this is where you guys like freak out." But there was the stranger's rifle, which was patient, or which was um, oh, what was the pulse rifle in exotic? Oh yeah, I remember you talking about yes. And, and it, then if you go look at one of the mer- mercury guns, same frame mm-hmm. on all three yeah. of them. So I mean, they'll yeah, use a similar enough. frame, and that's a way sometimes for them to add stuff in. Like right. their weapon frames are ultra detailed. Typically, a lot of right. work goes into them. Right. I mean, you go look at other weapon frames, and Destinies are still some of the damn best, without a question. And here's my other point to those dudes. It's like, all right, we're going to act like Destiny hasn't been giving us crazy hot art designs, crazy hot weapon designs, you know, all this fly stuff. And then, like, okay, we they not allowed to reuse any asset, like, ever? Like, come yeah. on, like, I'm... It, we we just come through off some some real some real cool sets, man. I, I can't go there with it. Now, if this was a trend every season we see in this, then it's like okay, cool, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, going back in there and create a little bit too much. But to me, this is just like an inspiration. That's yeah, it's like that. they took like a skeleton of that vex set, but yeah. man, it looks no, it it looks awesome. Like yes, it has the oh, yeah. like I have the vex eye, you have the three, mm-hmm. but I mean mm-hmm. outside of that, like yeah, it might have like a similar look, but I mean no, this mm-hmm. looks. A different enough to me that I don't Such care that I haven't I'm, seen I'm the weird. other one long enough or have I cared about wearing it when this thing if I ever pick it up I'm like Psh, good luck taking this thing off there so that's go. the big controversial set we'll move on we'll move um on. so you've got the substitutional armor set 
This is acquired mm-hmm. from seasonal activities, free season reward winks, and the premium season pass. So this, mm-hmm. which looks like um, kind of like, mm-hmm. I don't even know how to describe it. looks very dark greenish kind of foliage. Not quite camo, but definitely mm-hmm. has yeah, that like fell out of a forest look. Yeah, I'm feeling like, like, look like a tree. Yeah, I'm feeling like EDZ, like I'm chilling with Devrin. I'm about to choke. Yep. Yeah, no, this is exactly what it is. And you, now this is the one in case everybody's questioning. This is yes. the one that comes from the first like 30 or 35 ranks of the free mm. um, season mm. ranks. Or you get these sets at rank one for mm. the season pass owners. Gotcha. Okay. And remember, guys, okay. season pass includes the season rank battle pass thing. Mm-hmm. Those are not separate. Mm. I thought that was clear, but I've heard people like mm-hmm. questioning one or the other. I just want to be clear. Yes. There's the, for the battle pass, sorry, tangent here, but I've just had some mm-hmm. questions and no, seen other people. It. I just want to say it for us as well. Let's get it. The two levels of said battle pass or season ranks. The top one is totally free. You yes. could literally buy nothing else of, of Destiny at this point in time, roll into October 1st, and still work on that. Yes. You would not have to buy Season of the Undying, Shadow Keep, mm-hmm. nothing. New light mm-hmm. players and people who don't spend any more money on Destiny can still go through that free path, earn mm-hmm. this set of armor, earn a couple legendary weapons and whatever else is on that top rank, which has some free mm-hmm. infu- infusions and stuff. Mm-hmm. If you buy Season of Undying e- without Shadow Keep for $10, mm-hmm. you can mm-hmm. do that, and that's going to get you the premium set or the right. premium path. Or if you buy mm-hmm. Shadow Keep, it comes with Season of the Undying. That's the premium path. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You get this set at rank one. Right. So here's my question. Yes, yes. Let's get it. What's that? That grind for the solstice armor. You know that's mm-hmm. going to be like tier one stats, base level stats. Are we you get sure? one we free. Confirm? Oh, I, we I would confirm? bet if they're giving you that free set, it's not going to be high tier. We got, it's got, listen. It's your they first. It's like here's baby's first bro. armor 2.0 set. Nah, you can't throw that on me after we grinded the way we grinded to get that thing It's not going gonna to be man. raid tier. There's no way it's going to be that high in stats. It, it's not going to be that, but it, give, me, give me a It's going to be, here's your first. Three. Give me a three or four, son. <laughs> nah, one, two max. Nah, if the, say there's five levels, one to two one max. One is disrespectful. For, like, if you match the work, you're going to give me a one? You get you're to take that. Training if you, on me? you get to take that set. You get to look like that in Shadow Keep. That's your... You knew you were grinding for cosmetics. You're not nah. getting elite gear from Solstice. There is no way. Listen, All right, not, chat, come on. I want to know. Let me chat, know in let's chat. Go. Chat, let's go. Let's go. Let's get it right now. Let's who give us the last word on this. When you get your Solstice and you turn it in. What tier set? Like say there's we set? don't know yeah. how many tiers there are, but say there's five. Give us a number mm-hmm. one through five where you guys think um it's going to mm-hmm. be. And Vagabondo yeah. asked, because he was actually one of the ones I wanted to address that to. He's like, Salute. can they get to XP 100 rank on the free track? Yes, they can. You yes. can go free Salute. all the way up to 100 if you play. Just mm-hmm. new, like new light players can go to 100 in season rank. But I want to know, yeah, what I mean, rank do you guys think? Bloody one. Three, wolf, wolf three, three would be, would yeah, be good. Yeah, all right, Wolf. Three would be good, but where do you think it? I'm saying one or two max, man. There's no way they're going to give you. disrespectful. You're, you're bringing the solstice look forward. It's all about that cosmetic look, man. Nah, you ain't going to cosmetic me after you have me jump they're around not, and, eat, and do 50 no. bosses, That's 100 bosses. Based, no, see, the reason I'll say that mm-hmm. while you guys are typing stuff in chat. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. I'm going to say. Thank you, wishful thinking. Yeah, it's wishful thinking. That's exactly what it is. You're too optimistic. <laughs> This man, listen. No, uh, we, we hold on. Here's my argument. Yes, let me hear it. Let me when hear it. they talk about all of Shadowkeep, they talk about all these new difficulties and things like that. Yes. The Solstice grind was literally time. There was not a lot of difficulty in what we not did. Com- You're not going to sit there and devalue our grind. They it's get- time. They- it's not. Bro, see, just oh, yeah, I see threes. I see three to four. Three. I'm, they, the, they, I'm the minority real, real here. here. So, here's the thing. See, don't, don't so pay this, this, this will no be mind. the drink later on. So this will, <laughs> hey, I'm just going to say, it's like bet. if there's like it's three bet. or four stats, there's going to be basically... It's on. It's on the <laughs> low end for sure. It's sub halfway up that tier. Listen, e, I'm gonna tell you right now. There's no way it's they, gonna be high tier stats. There's it, no it, way. I'm not gonna say. I'm not saying it's mm-hmm. gotta be. What's the highest tier? Like Ten? You know, no, I don't. Say there's five. Say there's five or three. If it's three, it's, it's one. Five. If it's five, it's a max of two, in my opinion. Yeah. Here's the deal. <laughs> At the end of the day, don't let this man fool you. <laughs> this 
man is the soloist. He does everything difficult is a walk in the park to a guy like him. He got all his three characters. Solos. It wasn't it's difficult to get for, the soul see, look, see, No, it this, was this time. If you that put you subscribe time in. to to do solo it's night time solstice was content. time this this is him talking now it's time. common folk let's speak for i speak for the common folk common folk guys we know this took a long time <laughs> common folk guys there's not like not a robot like ebontis there's not a robot like esoteric this took a long time then they wanted us to master work it and do all this other stuff so at the very least how dare you? Don't you even think about giving slapping a one on this gear? Don't you even think? I'm, I'm gonna have to raise. I'm gonna have my picket for. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be out there on the picket line if they do a one, man. We got to get a three, two or three minimum. We probably put a vote up. Maybe we, maybe we should do a vote on um, last word podcast Twitter. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put a vote too. We're gonna, we're gonna double up on this. I want to see where this bet gonna go. I like this one. <laughs> But I will I will take the wager expecting Bontis to appear behind Katio you know, and give him an atomic wedgie. Normal. Atomic wedgie. He is the the, the five percent that one percentile guy that does this in his sleep. But you said it you you just said it while I was like jokingly stepped away from the camera. You said it was just time. It's not like you're trying to solo shattered throne. You're like I don't care how many gambit matches. I don't care how many. It it's just something. Mm -hmm. It can be done with time. It is not a skill based it is activity. Not to, hey, do we not it two not, player shattered throne is no, not no, a no, skill. I'm not talking about the master work. I don't even know if the master work is going to carry over. Honestly, that's what I'm saying. I'm talking about but the master work. Really. Okay, fine. The master work. But what okay. about the stats? Those are separate. Okay. I'm talking about stat tiers. Say like as we joked before, like a helm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Stat tier one through five, like. 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s right. for stats. I'm saying you're going to get that base level stat tier on this set. All I'm saying is whatever that that bar is where yeah. they tell you that you got to level it up, if they throw a one on my Solstice gear, when okay, I'm talking about gonna... two separate things. Okay, because that's what I'm talking about. No, no, no. I'm talking no, no. about, I'm about that, the that energy. Level. You're talking about one through 10 on energy level. So you have yeah, your. Yeah, that's what no, I'm no, talking no. about. No, no, no. I'm talking about your st stat tiers. I don't care okay. about the energy level. That's just one through five. They'll probably mm. give you five on that one just because it's yeah. okay. Yeah, that I'm not worried. I'm talking about your stat tiers. Okay, okay. I see what you're talking about. That's what I'm that's saying. Different. This is not going to no, be equivalent different. to like, okay, how did we have an argument that long over something? We yeah, that's how we were on different. Yeah, that was kind of funny. I said stat <laughs> tiers multiple times. That's what I'm talking about is stats. That's your energy of the armor. Very mm. different. So Very anyway, I think it's good. Okay, so do you think it's going to be a, a, like a tier one on stats, like base level stats? Better not be. Oh, okay. <laughs> now, now you just gotta, now you just gotta stick with the argument now. Like, yeah, it better not be. Uh, listen, man, this was an accomplishment. This is a celebration of everything we did. That's what that's what she told. That's what Grandma told me when we. Yeah, <laughs> now went you can, yeah, you can look like that if you want to. That's gonna be your look, man. Mm -hmm. We'll see. So they got they can't they cannot shortchange that base. That's all I'm saying, bro. They I'm telling you, like if that. you want like five energy, if you want your armor half leveled up so you can start putting stuff into it, they'll probably yeah. hand you those five. Sure, why That's not? Awesome. But that stat mm -hmm. tier is gonna be garbage. Probably so. Probably Just so. My guess. So probably so. All right. Well, that was I'm, a long I'm, argument. Almost, Apparently, not for much, but it's there. But not for much. But it was good. Anyway, so, what up? What's yes, going indeed. on? Thank you guys for coming. Vagabondo, you missed the first fight. It's the only Friday morning Vagabondo doesn't play because he's watching us. Well, thank you, sir. Let us take it up your time. So mm -hmm. here's the fun one everybody thought might have been the raid stuff. And yeah. this is where my Titan, I think, wins all, by the way. Oh, yeah, Titan definitely won. So champ, we got right? the phenotype plasticity mm. universal ornament set for the season armor. So you get the season armor at rank one on the season rep like path. Woo. Uh, the free people, the free track gets the armor, but does not get these ornaments. These are part of the premium track. Mm -hmm. And I'm sorry, but my wings on my Titan, psh, hello. Yo, shout out to the hunter looking like Bubba Fett or something though. Yep. Like the hunter looks lit. Like I, it's a, it's a. What I like about it, it's a unique look for the hunter because well, you don't know like the cloaks there. No hood. hood. Yeah, no hood. Yep. Yeah, like it's a cool little different. Look. Like the warlock, I'm cool. We've had looks like that before. Not that I don't like. I like the little the double, yeah, the fin. double horn. Yeah. The double fin is lit. But y'all stole the show with them. Them wings. Oh, oh y'all yeah. taking off. That's, you know that's... what you need to get with that. 
You look at the. Put... I didn't even notice the arm, like the big greave on his oh, right arm. Oh, like a that's weapon. Solid. Yeah, that's fire. And that's it's the only thing on the is... right too. Yeah, that's sick. Yeah, Wolf said the tight look like Megatron, straight up. Yeah, straight yeah. up like a Transformer. Absolutely. The thing too is, yo, you know what helmet would look fly to? Remember the um. The Prison of Elders airplane helmet. That tight, oh, that. <laughs> that's still in. That's still in Destiny Two. Trust me. It's still in Destiny Two, oh, right? Yeah. Throw that on there. You really taking them? He said the hunters from the hood. <laughs> Listen, the hunters look cool. But I like that little backpack antenna thing going up. It's cool. I, I like that. This is the, literally this could have been a raid set. But this is like you this know? is what you get for getting either the season pass, right? This is part of this track, or those people who might be like paying to finish up those ranks this is a cosmetic that people are going to be yeah. paying for fire probably yeah, just... or earning through time mm -hmm. uh Maybe. so then we got the iron will armor set so this is the iron banner this is okay i want to know your thoughts on this before <laughs> okay yeah same thing yeah this is probably the lackluster of all the sets yo i am banner been on a decline yo. we got to talk to the fashion people i am banner the last three like hunters Trash. cloak looks the best mm -mm. yeah hunter yeah, hunter, hunter yeah hunter looks the best yep even though he's a little smudged in the face, warlock. I'm like, mm, what they're is both you know? What very, it is? It's all mild. It's just white and gray. Or it's yeah. like light gray and dark gray. It's there's like a tiny little gold accent on each one. You got like the Iron Banner logo on the bottom of the like the cloak and the butt towel. But it's just it's very yeah. subtle. Very subtle. So it's uh, something about they've gone away from what I used to like with the the heavier sets, and then. It's, I don't know. It just, it just. I don't know where they go. I don't, I don't know, know if everything in here. If if you were like, oh cool, yeah. I made the Iron Banner set, and then you're looking through this page, you're like, oh, I didn't, yeah. I didn't do as well. Yeah, well, and then we get down to the Eververse set, <laughs> dude. My Titan is gonna be ice skating upside down. <laughs> Yo, he do look like he got the ice skate. Yeah, that's crazy. No, but I've also got lions on my shoulders. I'm mm -hmm. like triple color ornate. Oh, this is my set right here. This is this. Yeah, this is my one. You, throw a hot, you gotta throw a better shade on that, and then you're good. I kind of yeah. like the triple color, but yeah, you can you mess like with some color? shaders. I like the, yeah, like I'm, the I'm, red I'm... and the blue, the white and the gold. Like mm -hmm. I can I can dig it. Like on the Titan, because the white is yeah. still in there. Like on yeah. the Hunter, it looks like kind of a mess. Mm -hmm. Like the or the the look of it, the nature of like you got yeah. the bows in the back, you got the double horn, yeah, and then the mm -hmm. warlock robe is a bit much. It's a bit ornate, but I'm actually digging it. I'm getting like my little Roman samurai vibe going on right now. Oh, I have so a lion I'm, on my butt tail too. Hell yes. Yeah, lion's fire. Lion's fire. Yeah, I don't Titan's know how I feel it. about them warlock boots though. Them warlock boots. I, I don't know what you can't ever way. see your boots. They don't matter. Yeah, but I can see those. <laughs> and those... Dude, we'll put a shader on; they'll go away. You're fine. Yeah, but it just don't fit. It looked like a. It's like a samurai up top with a cowboy at the bottom. <laughs> I don't know. It just looked like thematically it's a little off with the boots. But other than that, you got I a do robe like covering up your, up to your you know shins anyway. You can't your your feet don't yeah, matter. Like your feet don't matter. It look like a galactic. Then go put your on. fancy salsa stuff on your feet so you can put a little glow on your <laughs> on your boots. Gotta That's get right. some glow on your boots there. That's right. Gotta make it shine. Gotta make it shine. So those are the sets we got coming. Plus, mm -hmm. uh, in addition to this, the currently available armor sets will drop as Armor 2.0. So you've got mm. Crucible Year One ornaments, Vanguard Year One ornaments, Black Armory, Gambit, Menagerie, Menagerie, nice. whichever. I still say nice. both. Raids, Raids, all of them. Destinations, Huge. all of them. And mm -hmm. uh, there will be additional world drops that can be found on Legendary Ingrams that will have mm -hmm. be updated to 2.0. So. Dope. Basically, everything you get is going to be 2.0, but these are the ones Dope. that will be looking new. Um, I want the seasonal ornaments for Vex. Raid set honestly looks pretty sick, and I'm digging the yeah. space band. So yeah. I'm cool with a lot of that stuff. I, Me too. All of this is going to be so cosmetic anyway. So the big freak yeah. out is some people, honestly, you're going to be getting like some people get that raid armor set. Mm -hmm. Like the Garden of Salvation is still legendary. Guess what? Ornament. Mm -hmm. Bam. Make it look mm -hmm. how you want to. So some people, if they don't love it, you can pick to look however you want to, and that's kind of the whole universal ornaments anyway. Some people mm -hmm. may be looking like Season of Optimacy. Who knows? Like, mm -hmm. you've got oh, a lot yeah. of options there. Um, oh, yeah. So I guess I didn't freak mm -hmm. out that much about it. Maybe I should. I don't care. I'm more – I haven't been as much about the fashion game for, like, five years because I've never been able yeah. to care about it. 
Right. Because I'm usually not like finding full. I mean, we had full race sets that had benefit, yes. but I mean, generally, especially in Destiny Two, fashion has mm. not mattered. For you. <laughs> okay, function me, hasn't mattered, but now for yeah, me, some people. It matters can. for me. I I have. But if I have like, if I have like a helm bro. that has like machine gun launcher, machine gun I'm like reserves, and then I have like a, a set of gauntlets that looks completely awful, but it has machine gun perks. Yeah, when I go run my nightfall, I'm running like that. I don't care how I it look. It's I struggle with that. that. That's a tougher decision. I, <sighs> nope, don't care. I'm telling like, you, perks man, I got, I, what I do is I'll keep grinding till I find a better looking piece that has those perks, and then break that down and waste cores. And that's me, bro. I nope. got, I got. It's I gotta look fly. It's destiny, baby. We gotta be out here. I can't be having that bummy armor looking like. Mm -mm, we got. <laughs> I gotta look good, man. My warlock. It's a warlock thing, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I got but I mean, also for me, like OMG said it, he's like, so now I can take that universal ornament set from the yes. season pass and I can go slap those wings and put those mm -hmm. with my glowing raid armor somewhere in there and be like, hey, go look like this now. <laughs> That's going to be cool. And then throw a couple shaders fine. on there. Maybe my knees and my head are glowing, but I got wings out the back, mm -hmm. like black armory shader on all that. Oh, dude. Yeah. Like yeah, now I can mess with it because I don't care. Yeah. But I'm not going to yeah, sacrifice you... function over fashion. So I am excited mm -hmm. to the fact that I can just mess with how I look all the time. And it's mm -hmm. not going to mess with how I play. So well, me... it's about time that you start looking better. Now that they got oh, everybody it's about my, time. Everybody who sees my videos or a screenshot of my characters like, yeah. man, you look, you you homeless right now. <laughs> exactly. I am a homeless titan constantly. Look, constantly thank God homeless. for Transbox. We got to get your gear up. <laughs> I got to get you looking right out here. Associate with you, with you looking with these these weird ass. Designs. I got I got trash. I don't care. <laughs> Salute for pettiness. Uh, so yeah, armor two point is gonna be cool because mm -hmm. yeah, you can I can you can mess around with all your ornaments. There's gonna be a lot more the old ones, the new ones, shaders. Mm -hmm. Mix it all up. Finally, get to mess with how I look. So I'm excited about that, and I really don't care about the rest. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should. Maybe I should be like. <laughs> Tweeting out to DMG and Cosmo mm. and, and Deej and saying, oh. I don't like this armor because it looks like old armor and this is yes. just a reskin they gonna this pinnacle out, tell activity. Them, are, they, are they going to stop playing though? That's the question. Is, is it to the point? That's how you test them. Mm. I was like, yo, is it that? You know what? This is egregious. I think you should not play. That's when you see. That's when you see. They, people picking this up. Day one, man. Look, look, look. Just I, something this is, yeah, with. I don't. It seems just a little ridiculous. So. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, we got what Let's else is going on? Uh, we know the Mars mm -hmm. event. Uh, we do mm -hmm. have Join the Strike team. You would, yeah. you would, you would die for this one, I'll tell you. I've I'm, I'm, I'm got to get in that. you got to get in that. you got to set I your alarm, get in, get in mm -hmm. there. So mm -hmm. from 3 to 5 p.m. Pacific time, they're mm -hmm. going to be in the Heroic Strike playlist on Xbox Live. One mm -hmm. person at a time is going to get paired up with I'm gonna let you say it, man. man we got big no, names, man. You gotta... I'm a, what, 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 what? Oh, my boy, King Kong, Phil Dominus Maximus Spencer, oh, <laughs> <laughs> Xbox's only begotten son, the savior. Told y'all, man. You know what? This feels good though, because um, one, like I've always told you guys, Phil is the biggest destiny, and two, you know, like I said, we just had Gamescom. Symbolically, it meant so much to have Bungie on that stage. The history, you know what I mean? And then getting out of the PlayStation exclusivity deal, it's like, you know, your ex came home for a little bit and y'all good speaking terms and everything's cool. So, um, yeah, man, I mean, shout out Vagabondo, what is Xbox? <laughs> what is that? Yeah, well, yeah, you're not going back to Xbox. You know, so I, I still help the community, my, my clan. I still Oh help. yeah, when's the last time yes. you logged on Xbox? Like about three days ago, I was I was in there with the with the rough oh, yeah. low frame rate, but you know, no POV. But it was about you know giving back to the clan. <laughs> Better than me, man. Yeah, man. I don't I have mean, anybody, so that's easier. You don't have anybody. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but not so. I'm all alone. There's no one here <laughs> <love> beside <laughs> me. <laughs> You're hilarious. So salute to um, what you call it, uh, Pete Parsons as well, man. Like that's dope. You know what I'm saying? So to see them in it, hardcore you know, playing, you know, Destiny, and this this is really cool. So I'm definitely trying to get in on that. I will be lighting it up, you know what I'm saying, Tuesday. I will set my alarm. I got to get on to talk with yeah, Phil. You're gonna be, you imagine being that? in that? That fire six team, to, Six to 8 p.m. 
right before mm-hmm. you go to work or something like that, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, man, if you I'm got in there, out. I don't know if they'd have voice chat on. I, dude, oh, man. See, I wonder how they're going to oh. handle that because, I, man, like that. I'm taking screenshots. I'm going to take the screenshots oh, or whatever. Man. But they stay, they're they supposed to be talking to, to the people, right? So, I mean, yeah. it, you would yeah. think. Like, yeah. I think that'd be the point. Mm-hmm. I hope people aren't stupid enough to be dumb in there or they'll just mm-hmm. get booted probably. But Word. Uh, but oh, yeah, these are two I old see, friends. I see a whole bunch of fraudulent stuff going on in the chat. Oh, oh Dizzy talking uh-oh, crazy. Oh, what's happening? Oh, yeah, I see some fraudulent Oh, Dizzy be mad because I went to PC, and I don't play with him every day on Xbox because, um, you know, it, it's real nice. The weather's nice over here. So he, <laughs> oh, he, he don't like fraud that. light for me. Woo! Yeah, yeah. He, he don't like that I'm, uh, you know, I, I'm not as regular on Xbox as he would like. That's all. It is. This is a sour grapes. You know how it is. Got to get back sometime. But I will be there on Tuesday to talk to Phil. <laughs> yeah. Well, I will say the emblem you get for the new uh, Bungie Bounties yeah, for year three mean. is sick. It's mean. I like that. I That's like that one America is next really, really mm. nice. Yeah, it's That's like fire. That one's legit. Um, mm-hmm. They're also, you may want to tune in either way because they'll be mm-hmm. giving out prizes uh, to win as a spectator. Seven Destiny Shadow Keep Collector's Edition to award for those because mm. they are sold out. Wow. Yep. They are toast. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that will be Tuesday, September 10th, 3 to 5 p.m. Pacific. Adjust your time Mm -hmm. accordingly. I do love how it's not not Gambit. It's not PvP. They're not testing skill. They're doing strikes for those two. Yeah, we we, we, we walk in in through those strikes. Exactly. Let's let's, let's, let's relax. Let's not have them out of control (laughs) doing stuff they can't do. (laughs) I ain't disrespecting nobody. You know, I'm just saying. (laughs) Who knows? I don't know. Phil Spencer may mop the floor with me in PvP. You never know, man. Uh-uh. Yeah, Phil plays, man. He, he's been playing a long time. So it's real cool to see. All right. Mm-hmm. Well, now is where I'm probably going to hand the baton over. <laughs> Sir Crucible. Yeah, man. Let's get it. Shake Shacks. Let's Shake get it. Shake Shacks. Let, us, let yeah. us know what we got going for the world of Crucible <laughs> updates. Because there's not too many, right? There's not much happening. There's, <laughs> there's nothing major, yeah, right? Man, it's just a few hundred pages of dialogue or whatever <laughs> but uh yeah man shake shacks man so that, like i said many of you asked when the crucible experience will change how it will change and this is kind of what uh luke smith alluded to in director's cut part three but yeah we're going to be getting a director's update so when shadow keep launches your cru- the crucible director will look a bit different so here's a quick rundown from the director's cut we've removed the quick play and competitive nodes from the director if you're looking for an experience like Quick Play, we've added Classic Mix, which is a connection-based playlist like Quick Play today. And Classic Mix will include Control, Clash, and Supremacy. Hey, what's up, Supremacy? There you go. Competitive is replaced by 3v3 Survival, which now awards glory. So Competitive is now 3v3 Survival. I, I know you are very happy about this. Um, because I don't see countdown, so that's good. Uh, we've we've also added a survival solo queue playlist that also Ooh. awards. This is screaming, Ebontis. Like this is like they heard your please. That wasn't so just me. That. If you solo yeah. comp, it sucks. I mean, it straight up is terrible. Solo gambit, solo comp, it's awful. Like it is, and it's not against the people who play as teams. You play as a team. Yeah. It's like cool. You got friends. But for the people who do play solo, yeah, you can't compete generally. I like you unless can. you're just like a god who can carry a full team, which there's mm-hmm. a short list of those people. Mm-hmm. But it's like if you're playing with a well organized team versus just four randoms, just the communication alone, whether it's points, well, whether they're flanking, yep. a super run, little stuff is huge. So no, this yep. is that's a huge deal. Can't wait. That's a huge deal. So now they've also added 6v6 control as its own playlist. And they state with the potential influx of new players this fall, we want to have a playlist that signals to new players where to start. We feel 6v6 control is the right starting place when introducing new friends to Destiny. And then they've added a a weekly 6v6 rotator and weekly 4v4 rotator. And those rotator playlists will have modes like Clash, Supremacy, Mayhem, Lockdown, and Countdown will appear. So there's Countdown again in that other little rotator right there, weekly rotator. So basically, this is some big stuff right here now. They wanted to create some variety in the PvP experience from season to season, and one way they're going to do it is to bench map some maps for the season. 
while they're out of rotation, if time allows, but also hope to improve how they play by tweaking spawn areas, ammo spawns, and overall structure so they return better than before. The first four to be removed from all playlists are. I need your I need your opinion on these four. Oh, I'm, too. I'm looking at the map, so I have an opinion here. So. Okay. Yeah. Dead Dead Cliffs. All right. Wow. So Dead Cliffs is. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at this one. I'm trying to. I have like a map, but I don't have a picture of it. So I'm trying to picture this one in my mind. Is it Dead Cliffs that one where it's like I'm gonna say it's like EDZ, right? Uh, I've got a list of them. Dead Cliffs yeah. is, yeah, it's EDZ. Mm -hmm. And it's that one where um, the kind of the, the the heavy spawns usually by a pillar, and then um, it's like a little. It, it's hard to describe these maps. Now it's so funny. I know. Like, like I'm saying, Cliffs, it's like very hard rusty. to describe. It's just that brown rusted EDZ, very oh, interior I, I based. Know. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm like mm -hmm. stupidly blanking on that one. Yeah. Yeah. Very. Yeah. The heavy is always by. Yeah. The heavy is always by B, and you got the little yes. chunk on the wall. Yes. That or and it's then, like not like, too far going from, from C to B. I mean, from C to A, you got to do that jump. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Kind yeah of you thing. got to get the gap, and, mm -hmm, and yeah, kind of the back corridor. People spawn on the back of A, and all how right. do you feel about that one? I need your opinion on this because I, I have opinions on it. Um, how do you feel about that one going away? Like the ones that I think people tend to not like, or the ones that I don't mm. like, are the emissary type levels. Those I think can typically go. I this see. one I kind of like. It has different play like... I do. Yeah, yeah I'm like, I like that one. That's you got like the sniping too. lane from like yeah. A to B's heavy. You got that snipe down there. You mm -hmm. got the snipe down the whole outside walkway for C. Like mm -hmm. I don't know. You can you can have multiple playstyles on this map because there are lanes where you can snipe, but there's also mm -hmm. like interior corridors for shotguns. I'm usually I don't hate this one. I I, I may not do amazing on this map, but, but like this one I'm okay with actually. So yeah. I mm, yeah it doesn't have to go anywhere. So All that's right. kind we of we agree on that. So second is Legion's Gulch. Now I have opinions on this. If you want to pull so it up, this, so you can this is the one the in case. So this is the big bridge. You have B on its separate side with the drill, and you have the little like shooters mm -hmm. back and forth. Mm hmm. The mm -hmm. balance on this one is hard. Yeah. Because basically you take A and C and you just leave B alone if you're going to be smart about it. Mm -hmm. And it's it's not a balanced map for mm -hmm. control. Clash, it has its moments because you are running around. I could see Clash being more. But control, this one is so unbalanced, it's rough. I mean, they have A and C far apart. And yeah, you can jump mm -hmm. to it. I don't know. I've never been the biggest fan of this one. I Which no, I'm not the biggest yeah. fan. The heavy's yeah, in that like horrible choke point in the middle. Yep. Um. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm so, with you. I'm, I'm, I'm not the I, biggest I, fan. I, I this hate... one, I'm I'm okay with actually departing. I guess. Yeah, this one they can work on it. I felt the B is just way too far. It's too separate, and um, you know, yeah, I've, I've never been a huge fan. The uh, second one is a uh, retribution. Pull up retribution. So you got the hanger, the barrel, and the deck mm -hmm. oh see i like this one i like that one too that's the i know one. this it's is like we don't have a lot of tight maps this tight is like one, one that's like it's you like got the loop circle yeah you got the little loop and you got one side yeah. and the other in the decks and like no I'm, I'm okay with this one i'm like why this one's kind of fun because away? like it's tight corridors mm -hmm. you gotta run like you can do a full yes. lap around that midsection if you need to yes. with your super no i was like this that's, one yep with the super play too yeah mm -hmm. yeah so i mean this one again completely separate from say like solitude for example or something like that right. solitude mm -hmm. the one on my, solitude really actually don't mind that either mm -hmm. um yeah i kind of like this one because yeah mm. it's one of the tighter maps that we have so yes it is one of those times where like you're not gonna run anything far you do need to be mid to close pretty much the whole time yep. Yep. i mean yeah I'm you can snipe like some that. longer slight curved corridors but generally mm -hmm. not i don't know i'm still okay yeah. with that one what the hell is yeah. going to be left? That's what I'm saying. They're out here taking maps that I like. I'm like, why did they take that damn um, Trials of the Nine map? <laughs> yeah, that's the one I'm talking about, like e Equinox or oh, something. Or, or whatever I it is. hate that map. Oh, I hate that map. Yeah. hate that map from the minute Trials of the Nine. Eternity. Trials of the Nine. Yeah. Hated that map. And then it's like they kept those long ones. 
They kept oh, everything trials of the nine, like that. The other one, the other remember the other trials of the nine mm-hmm. one? Yep. That extra long one. I'm like, get those out. Why those ain't out of here? Yep. Ugh. Anyway, but um, yeah, so that, that's it. So I'm with you, man. I think Legion's Gulch is the only one I'm like, okay, that one. Dead Cliffs. I like Retribution. I like Solitude. You know, I'm just like, all right. Really? Was these the ones that people were complaining about? Okay. Yeah, and then Solitude yeah. is the one on Mars where you've got kind of mm-hmm. A up top in the cliffs behind the rock, B's in the middle, and then C's mm-hmm. down in like the ice caves on the other side. Like that one, yeah. that's a bigger, but that's still a map I don't mind. You've got like the, nah, like I'm. Because that, that map was fun to fight for B. The fight for B on that map? Oh, that's hilarious. insane in that little room. Yeah, that's absolutely Yeah, that room gets popping. I love that room. Yeah, everybody's throwing grenades in there, doing all type of stuff. And the, I, don't, I was like, why people? I don't know. Yeah, and up on A, you can, like, people peek out of B's, like, door coming to A and just get picked off with a snipe. And uh, the heavy on that center platform where it's just open to oh, every side is just yes. always contentious, man. It's rough. Always contentious, yes. Always that. That, that B and that heavy, it hopping it is very oh, high traffic bonkers in there yeah so yeah so i mean those maps i was kind of sad about yeah, it's kinda <laughs> so like i don't know if i look through the list at what's left but mm. there's a lot of the stuff i don't like but, but we, we will be getting that. something some uh, new something stuff which, mm-hmm. which we will talk right. about now so um yeah man so like i said they, they said that with those maps removed we made a pass on our playlist removing some maps from playlists when they don't shine Equinox is now only in Scorched, Mayhem, and Breakthrough. And Firebase Echo. Oh, that is... Rewind, rewind. What the hell is Scorched? Scorched is that the Scorched is... Cannon mode? Yes. And that, Are they, they bringing like that they, back? Bringing it, yeah. Like they're just going to rotate just that. Silently, like mayhem yeah, just and... silently stuck that uh, in. That's yeah. just in there. Oh, yeah. Scorched Cannons all the time. Okay. Mm-hmm. By the way, those are really yeah. hard to hit people with. Yes. Do you remember that? <laughs> yes. That's really hard. You're like, direct hit, it's just a pew. Shoot, shoot. Moves away. Mm-hmm. So we gotta hit the that. ground. Yeah, I've been missing all the time. And Firebase Echo is only in Supremacy, Mayhem, and Breakthrough. So while we're removing a few maps, we'll also be introducing Widows. Court. Introducing. <laughs> introducing the OG Twilight Gap return. Those are heavy hitters, those two. Oh, yeah. Wow. And the new map, which we get a little glimpse of right here, it's called Fragment, and the description is very accurate. Think Dreamin' City meets Infinite Forest. So that's the new map that's coming with the two. So, again, they're getting rid of a lot that we liked, but they're adding two bona fide the classics. Fan favorites, yeah. Fan favorites and a new one. And then its last point will be uh, Elimination. Is also making its return to Destiny 2 via Crucible Labs <clears throat> trials. We'll be testing out multiple variants of Elimination <clears throat> trials, rule sets, and setting to see how the mode plays with the new weapons and abilities of Destiny. Salute to the team for testing <clears throat> trials. So, what do you think about all this? And then I'll let you grab the uh, heavy ammo, sir. Man, do I have an opinion about the next topic? That's uh, not, no, that's what I'm giving it to you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I guess, honestly, they might try and just have more rotation of maps. And I guess it may give some of them freshness. If some go out for a season, some come in for Mm -hmm. a season, they kind of trade them in and out. And you don't have Mm -hmm. them all every time. I mean, there may be some ones you love and hate, but, like, I guess new ones in, old ones out, and have this kind of rotation Mm -hmm. of things. I guess I'm okay with the rotation. I'm just surprised the four they took. The four they took are ones I'm generally okay with. And if I had to pick maps or move... I don't know if those would be near the top of my list. I feel like they'd be in the middle of the I'm bottom really, of keepers. Yep. I'm I'm completely I was very shocked that they chose those maps. The question I have for you, oh, being oh, that okay. we're in rage culture and oh, and we're oh. in like a whole, you know, bungee did us dirty mode. What say you? I've seen this before, that people with bungee is taking away content, more content than they are putting in with these maps per se. Well, technically, uh, in math's sake, we are getting three and losing four. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. So what say you? Like, we should get the equal amount of maps. They are wrong for doing this. We're getting less content. You know that's that's con- <laughs> less content. So you cannot. Do you know how many PvP maps we have right now? One, mm-hmm. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 
Now, I don't know how many are in and out of all the different modes, but the fact that there's 19 maps in Crucible for mm. Destiny 2, holy mm. crap, dude. Like, there's a lot. Yeah. I'm not really probably going to be lacking. I went mm. through my 136 matches of Iron Banner or whatever, and I made a spreadsheet mm -hmm. of all the matches. And I was mm -hmm. like, oh, where did I play? I ended up playing some on all, some more than others, right. but I still saw them all eventually. But if I had only done, like, five or six matches, and mm -hmm. if I don't play that much PvP, I might not even see it. If it's their chance to be like, okay, these aren't being touched, we're just going to go put these mm -hmm. in testing. I'm okay with the idea because we're getting three, we're losing four. There's mm -hmm. other ones I would have taken out first, probably, because I think right. the ones that are there are interesting. My bigger mm -hmm. contention is what the point comes next, but I would say for maps is... I mean, honestly, mm -hmm. you could say we're losing maps, but we're also getting scorched. Right. Which is like just a one-time thing they goofed around with. Hopefully right. Mayhem is in the mix more frequently. Mm -hmm. And then you've got like Breakthrough. You've got a couple other, like couple maps only in certain places where like Equinox is one, Scorched, Mayhem, mm -hmm. Breakthrough, Firebase Echo. I'd have to look up what that one is. But Equinox is one. I'm like, yeah, take it. Like, it's fine. Yeah, take that. Yeah, take that away. No, I'm with you, man. I think that... um. This is the thing, the key point for me as to why I don't, I didn't listen to outrage culture on this one, was that um, it's here's the thing. Remember when we got when we started Destiny Two and we were four v four, right? A lot of these maps, let's be real, they were designed for four. They were not six v six maps because then they gave us six v six. They gave us you know more power, feeling like how we supposed to feel. What's up, Sinister? What's up, Mitch? What's up? Oh, oh my God, it's Scott. But um, yeah, man. So the whole thing is, you know. If they're going to take them away with the intent to balance them and fix them for sixes and do whatever they need to do for spawn points, I am perfectly all fi fine with that. I'm with you, though. I don't I don't like that they chose four, but, I you know, like, yeah, ones sense. that need tweaked are not these, at least. Oh, not me. these. Yeah. But everything else, you know what I'm saying? I, the, the idea of it, like, hey, you want to tweak it, you bring it back. I have no problem with that. That is something they really never I don't recall doing ever before in that even destiny one mm -hmm. where they'll take something out and say hey we got to work on this the spawns a little so that's what's up you know but um yeah man that, that's what i got on it but uh we got some heavy things to discuss oh my god so let's get okay it. so what i had joked about last time mm -hmm. is coming true and i'm really worried about this heavy oh, ammo sharing let's go heavy ammo is so heavy ammo sharing is the topic, and I'm just going to mm -hmm. read it, and then I'm going to let you go mm -hmm. first. Mm -hmm. Heavy ammo is shared only in the 6v6 modes, mm. and those crates have a sparkling effect to denote this. Once a player picks up the heavy ammo, their teammate have a limited amount, about seven seconds to go pick it up. Mm -hmm. If the other team picked up the crate, the it will turn red. You cannot pick it up during this period of time. Mm. Um, we Each player gets less heavy ammo from the shared crate, um, mm -hmm. than they do from unshared crates in 4v4 or 3v3 modes. The, man of, mm -hmm. the amount of ammo you receive from a crate is static, does not change based on how many teammates share the crate. Mm -hmm. Go first, otherwise I'm going to explode. Oh, man, he's, he, he is not feeling this. Um, I, I don't know. I mean, this is one of those things where I have to see in practice how I'm going to necessarily feel about it. All I can remember, here's my question, too, though. I, I'm still confused on one little portion with the 6v6. Okay, so back in D1, right, heavy used to spawn. Mm -hmm. You go to one, the, the, the one group would go to one side, the other group. Oh, they would just fight over the one no, spot, No, no, right? no. That is how it used to. Right, that's how it used that's to be. That's not how that's, it that's reads. It's I, going to. That's what, I, that's what I wanted to clarify. That's so my it, issue. Say, in, in D1, I know. Calm yourself. We're going to get to you. <laughs> so the whole thing is, in D1, I remember saying, hey, guys, heavy's up. We all go. We wait for your boy to get there. He tag he's tagging along a little late, but he gets in. He gets his thing. And then it's like the battle of the, the heavies for a little bit, right? That's what I remember D1. So like I said, thank you for clarifying. The way this reads is not that. It's, it's literally one spot, the vibe I'm getting. And... We're all converging on one spot, and then the team that gets it locks out the other team, you know, for that for the thing. So that's different. That's different. Um, I don't know how I feel. I don't know how I feel. I, it, it's weird. I don't understand. I mean, I guess it's a it's a it's a new mechanic. They, they actually didn't have this, but um, you know, 
other, I, I got to see how that play. It just feels where it feels people converging on one spot. Battle for the heavy, you know, it could snowball. It could snowball. It could. The only thing I'm thinking about is like, yo, it could snowball. Once those guys got it, you're kind of done for a bit. Now they are saying it's less heavy, you know, than it would be if it was an individual unshared crate and four people. Take a rocket crate. launcher, for example. I'm just going to jump in. Here we go. Take get him. Get him. No, take get a rocket it. launcher, for example. One person can pull it right now and get a max of two. Mm-hmm. Or what? Truth mm-hmm. gets three, technically. Yeah. Even if, say, six people are there and say they all have rockets, that's still six rockets between them. It's more than we've mm-hmm. ever had. And you want to talk about waiting the match to one side for a really long period of time? That match just got swung horribly out of balance. It's not like both teams get heavy, they smash in the middle, and one person, like I would do, hang in the back with my machine gun, and then I'll mm-hmm. run in later and be the guy with the machine gun who still got heavy and be like, oh, I'll be a little annoying for a bit. Right. But there was chaos on both sides for a little while. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's cute. You all have sniper rifles and scouts and hand cannons. Mm-hmm. We all have six ro- We Six of us have a rocket launcher right now. What are you going to do? You're all screwed. Mm. Mm. Some, Even some, if they all got fun. like 15 bullets of machine gun ammo, that's still two kills each, probably. It can snowball. It can snowball. That's it's, my it's, main it's, issue is it's... You take fighting issue, over heavy yeah. ammo, and one person gets 38 bullets of heavy, and they still tend to mm-hmm. like kill you twice. Now but you have an entire thing. team potentially that can pick it up and swing it even more. I feel where you're going, but here's the thing that see, Scott is about to say what I was about to say, which is part of the strategy back in the day was you go over there with your super. So if they was over there camping, ready, that team was ready to take it, you come in with the super and then swing the pendulum. You know what I'm saying? But I, I hear what you're saying. You're not wrong. If a team, six people, get heavy, you're, talk, you're about to get rolled out the building. <laughs> like, like You're about to get rolled out. So that part is a little spooky. I, I have to admit, I give you that. It sounds crazy to me that that part's happening. There is some strategy though. There is some if you say if you super up, like you say, you Nova over there, you Titan Hammer over there. Go ahead, touch it if you want. And when you sniper set up, you could still counter a little. You can still counter a little. But it, I agree, it, it's gonna be tough. It definitely yeah, okay. So say team. one person picks it up, they have seven seconds to get it. Your sniper can't get three or four people to pass through and pick up their block on the way to like go kill people. You, got, su- your, you got your other five. You got your other five. You do, but like I'm mm-hmm. just saying, like there's mm-hmm. typically the map, map the way the map is going. If they're mm-hmm. typically there, it's not like you're gonna spawn near them. If they just wiped you guys out before heavy, they use mm-hmm. their super. Y'all are on the other side of the map. They just loaded up on heavy. Good luck. I think this is gonna I be. I think this is gonna be awful. You could be right. I, all I think this, this is gonna I, be I, awful. You could be very right. I I'm, I'm, I want to see how it plays. All I think about is this. This this is my experience. That's right? fine. All right, when I play, every time I get over to the heavy, there is literally three dudes setting up tents. Set, they are waiting for me to oh, touch I'm not, I'm they not like, saying Go there won't that. be. I'm up in the back of your neck. I'm like, damn, I just want to touch that. I know, I, I know <laughs> that's how it is, but I'm also just saying, like, there's going to mm-hmm. be the point where that's still going to happen. One or two people may get it. Mm-hmm. They might have a little less ammo. The snipe still may pick them off. Some right. heavy bricks may drop. Who knows? But mm-hmm. in the moment where one team does it right or one team is wrecking, it's not gonna. You are not gonna get that balance moment back. If a team is owning that match and wrecking you, and they're chaining supers, right. which is gonna be a little harder. We'll get to that. But still, mm-hmm. they still are running the table. That mm-hmm. ma- there that becomes an even farther unbalanced match. Mm, there's no way to return there's no way for both you to be like all right split off for your heavy cool Mm -hmm. all right we got it one guy tried to come okay i sniped him while he was thinking about doing something all right everybody Mm -hmm. gets your heavy all right now chaos will ensue oh we survived a little Mm -hmm. better i've got some machine gun hey we can try and kind of hold things a little bit here that is Mm -hmm. never gonna happen if one team starts wrecking it and holding it i have a feeling this is gonna be bad no i hear you now what about the counter argument that says well, that's the better team. Like that, that, that strategized to to converge on that spot and is doing a better job of protecting that spot. Then Mercy just better go into effect quicker, right? Maybe I was that, like, then Mercy just know. has to be faster. If it like, I'm just saying, like this is gonna swing the balance of a match potentially. That like, hey, we're down by like 20 points, but we're working on coming mm-hmm. back. Okay, mm-hmm. somebody just did a super and killed like four of us. Crap, mm-hmm. heavy spawned. 
shit, the whole team has heavy. And there it is. I was like, it's now you're done. So I was like, mm. I have a feeling this is not gonna go well. But what what For about sixes. the opposite effect? What what if you're getting smacked, but you're good at controlling heavy? And that let's say that team is better. How out how often does you that KB. happen? We don't know the percentages per se. No, no, no. Think about what you just said. You're getting smacked, but you're controlling. You're not. Con you're not getting smacked and controlling anything in the what same like match. Say, generally, I'm being extreme. What I'm saying is, let's just say you're being outplayed on one-on-one -on -one gunfights with another team. The other team is a little better than your team in one-on-one -on -one gunfights, right? So you're constantly down. But when that heavy comes, then you could kind of swing it because your guys did a better job of strategizing and positioning to control that heavy. Or the other kind of argument is what, again, I'm with you. I'm just trying to be, I'm doing devil's advocate, actually. I know. I, it's funny that I'm doing this because I'm I, actually I with know. you. So um, the other argument is what if people say, yo, let them rock. We super up and then we take it from them. Because you know when you kill them, they're going to out they're gonna poop heavy <laughs> yeah if that still so, works they'll, they'll have if that still works you know so you got that too i mean it's, it's i'm willing to give it a shot that's what i'm saying i i i, I think you're i said right. this last week and i saw this and i was just like damn <laughs> i feel you man listen uh, i mean for me i was like i guess we'll just have to see it in action because there better mm -hmm. have been some testing behind this but mm -hmm. i have a feel it's the matches that already feel out of balance are gonna feel that much worse because if you're already getting stomped and all of a sudden they're entire like you see mm -hmm. six people just picked up heavy and they're not on your team, you're just like <laughs> quit, quit, yeah, look, Alt I, F4, uh, shut down yeah, the look, computer, I, I just, I throw the look. Xbox across the room, doesn't matter. Like it that match mm -hmm. is done. But then they're saying what which we're about to read is that this is about to get us into that skill player player ranking skill thing that we're going to touch on next. So maybe that's what that's about. Maybe they're trying to separate the men from the boys and put you in your real rank. So you're not uh, ringing, but we'll get to that. But um, yeah, man, so that, that's heavy. It's controversial. We shall move on. Rank systems update. Streaks and flaws. This one is interesting for me. Well, I mean, Glory, you, Valor, oh, you got in, it. Yeah, I got it. Glory, Anf Glory, Valor, and Infamy streaks have been made more resilient. Instead of resetting your streak, Losses will now reduce your valor and infamy streaks by one and your glory streak by two. You can still lose glory, but if your rank is at or below fabled, you can't lose glory if doing so would drop you below that rank. Each rank through fabled act as a floor for glory. So you are a man of, you're a man, you're a man that, uh, went through the hard grind if you lost glory you would go down ranks you know how, how do you feel about this sir do you feel they are casualizing your great mountaintop sinister's booing <laughs> I'm, I'm like, boo yeah he's booing hard he's booing boo. hard. um where are you at with this so essentially when you go up into your, your no, rank, no i'm like as you're going like Guardian one, you go Guardian up, two, you get a Brave one, Brave so you two. Stay there. If you lose, you stay Those there. Those aren't down, but... that big, right? Typically, I mean, especially if they're going like Brave one, Brave two, Brave three. If you can go all the way up to like Brave and then all the way back down with them Brave before you like mm -hmm. drop down to Guardian, like if you get your right. hundred and you're Guardian, like cool. And then right. you're like going up in Brave. And then if you get to Brave two and you hold it, mm -hmm. I, think, I, I think I think I like the, the bundle. I think I like the break the point of Fabled because up okay. to twenty one hundred. Even solo queuing, you'd mm -hmm. eventually probably bounce there. Because I was like working my way up, mm -hmm. and then I ran into that guy, and he helped me yeah. the rest of the way. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to ease the journey up to there. Mm -hmm. But then I think they, the pinnacle stuff, like I mm -hmm. think they need to do something above that for those who want to go above the 2100 glory. Right. To make right. the harder part more. You got to give me a reason to go above Fabled because, like, if you right. can't go below, like, you could just barely creep over. Like, you could just barely you got, creep. You got, like, I got Brave too, and then you lose like four times, and you're like, mm -hmm. thank God I got the Brave too. Whew. Okay, I'm mm here. -hmm. Okay, now we're like back on. Okay, now we're doing good again. And I think mm -hmm. it's gonna be more of a site. But I think when you get to Fabled, be like, hey, those those training wheels, take them off. Now you go up, you go mm -hmm. down. Where you? That's where you're at. Like, I right. think up to Fabled, a lot of people who try and comp. <laughs> eventually might head that direction i mean right. some have big swings down and up and it's definitely going to be a thing where like yeah you have your big swing i do too 
Like I went up and then lost like I'm like oh, lost. Oh my god. Let me go ahead and yeah. shut this down. This is not happening tonight. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it's like mm-hmm. there are times where you do that, and that may that honestly the floor is maybe like, hey, I can only go so low. Even if I dropped right. a couple matches, right? It's not going to be as bad. I make I might keep playing. Mm-hmm. I think this is going to be a better thing for the playlist. Mm, no, you read my Generally mind. Generally there. Because I think this is a playlist decision. Mm-hmm. I think it's better for the playlist so the people at the lower levels have a like less worry of like, hey, I got to to a thousand. Hey, I played eight matches and I'm down to like two hundred now. Yep, F. it was discouraging. Like, yeah, it was, discour- it it was demoralizing. It's dem- and I'll be honest, like it was demoralizing to me, and I had to take a step back for a while. But I, I listen, I I understand both sides here, right? The competitive hardcore guy, like a sinister who was booing, you know, he's gonna say, look, get good. You know what yeah. I mean? He's going to say, get good. If you're losing, you lose your rank. That is what the true ranking system represents. And I understand that argument, right? The problem for Bungie is that no one's really playing this ma- this, this playlist anymore. Yeah. Because you got the extreme hardcore that will get there, the super tryhards, the super sweats that will get there. That's a very small percentage. They have to have the numbers on engagement in comp. It has to be terrible because I know for a fact I'm sitting in orbit waiting. Oh, and you I'll see a lot of the orbit. same people. Yeah. Bro, I see the same people. So this has to be a way that this is their balance. They're saying, okay, you know what? The casual guy is not sticking around. He's getting he's, he may get a two streak. He gets stomped. He's all the way back down to brave one or whatever it is. And he's out for the night. He's never stepping back in comp. They want people to get in comp. You give them that floor. So if they do win. They get it. They take their streaks away, right? They take streak potential away by one by one. But hold on, oh my God, Spot. Hey, Scott, here's how it is. Basically, what is this? About five to seven ranks, you know, circle ranks. And then basically what happens is when you fill up your circle with wins and experience, you move to the next rank. So what how it used to work is as you go up in rank, right? If you lose, it would take away your streaks. Basically, as you go up and round, you go up on the streak, you get more experience for each win, more experience for each win. When you lose now, they take away that, that, that streak. And then if you continue to lose, you can actually drop rank. That's what pretty much how glory ranking would work. The new way, what they're saying is if you basically this fabled is, let's say fabled is kind of like that, that upper tier close to the, to the top. Yep. Basically, every level you gain up until fabled. If you make it to that level, if you lose, you will not go beneath that level. So it's almost like you'll have a, a constant chance to keep getting to fabled, you know, no matter how many the loss. Eventually, you'll get there once you start winning. You know what I'm saying? But once you hit fabled now, whatever the next ranks are, mythic and all that other stuff, legend or whatever it is above fabled, if you make mythic and then start losing, you can go all the way back down to fabled. Yep. That's how the new system works. So. Again, me personally, I think it's a it's a cool middle ground to help the casual guys. But still, I agree with you, E. They're going to have to now have something above Fabled to give the hardcore guys that grind, grind, or whether it was Adept or whether it was, you know, uh, what was the equivalent for Luna's Howl? What was it? It was, it was Luna's Howl, and it was, a, what was the second one. Not Forgotten? Part? Not Forgotten, yes, yes. Yeah, that was Maybe the legend. They ha- yeah, maybe they'll do a better version. Maybe they'll trials it out and give you that kind of thing. So, you know, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Yo, oh my God, it's crazy. Well, goodbye, account recovery people. <laughs> that honestly is like a That's thing real between talk. this and then also the skill based thing we'll talk about later. Yes. That'll be kind of an yeah. interesting thing because even Astacross was talking about that. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. I mean, if you look up, I pulled up the ranks. So, like, Guardian 1, 2, and 3, Brave 1, 2, and 3, and Heroic 1, 2, and 3. That's mostly what we're talking about. Right. Guardian 1 takes 40 points to the next rank. Guardian 2, 70, and Guardian 3, 90. Mm-hmm. And then, then Brave 1, 170, 295, mm-hmm. and 385. Like, each rank takes more. So, to go mm-hmm. from Brave 2 to Brave 3 is going to take – you'll have a bigger swing in there. And then yep. Heroic 1, 2, and 3 is 210, 365, and 475. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, mm-hmm. depending on which one you're in, you can have farther to fall the closer you get to Fabled – where it's still going to be a challenge, but you're not going to go from 2099, go on a crap streak and go home and go to right. bed at like 500. Yeah, and be and be demoralized. That literally will be the the, the fact, the deciding factor to make you stop playing. And if you look at it, E, the other point I want to make is that the latest pinnacle weapon that they introduced, the sniper, 
to me showed me this was the direction they were going to go in. Because if you looked at that weapon, it was you kind of kept progress, right? What was it? What's the what's the sniper? Revoker. Uh, Re- Revoker, right? Yep. That's the only pinnacle weapon they kind of did that where you you could still steady get it done. Yep, you were just you earning know, it, a, to- a total points, good, bad, or otherwise you couldn't lose any points. Yep, right. That's the thing. So, I think I think it is a good change. I think it's a good change for the the health of the playlist and overall PvP. They need people in there, so I'm with it. As long as you give the hardcore some bragging right weapon or variant that represents that legend that only they could get to so they could feel like, yo, I, I don't want to be on the same level as these other dudes. I, I put in that work, you know? Yeah, I mean, I think that would be the way to make it keep more people in the playlist than the lower levels mm-hmm. where they want more people and then where it gets ultra sweaty, they need a reason mm-hmm. for it to get to be sweaty and that's, I think, everything in this game needs to have mm-hmm. something behind their or Why am I going to go run Legend Excellent. Nightmare Hunt if mm-hmm. it's just a piece of armor? Now, the stats will be there, right. but again, right. it's like... Giving rewards for ultra difficult mm-hmm. things needs to be there. Otherwise, what's the point? Right. So I'll let you get a competitive matchmaking updates. All right. So know. skill and glory. Destiny has always tracked players behind the scenes, taking into account things like kills, damage dealt, and so forth. These factor into a player's skill rating. Now, they said in Season 8, we've mapped the skill ratings to glory ranks. So the lowest end of the scale mapping to Guardian 1, the highest end to Legend. Most players are somewhere in between those extremes. Yep. As you mm-hmm. play in the survival playlist, which is just the only place to get glory going forward, mm-hmm. the glory system will accelerate you to the rank that corresponds to your skill rating. Mm. If your current rank is below where your skill rating should be, you'll earn extra glory based on the criteria above so you can get to your expected rank faster. Mm. And lose less glory so you don't fall farther away. Once you reach mm-hmm. your, quote, expected rank, glory gains and losses will kind of normalize. Mm-hmm. So if you're, like, going in, you know, getting, you know, 20 kills a match or something at low levels, you're going to kind of kind of scoot up to that, you know, mid-rank where you're supposed to be faster. But then if you get around, like, hey, you, you hit Fable, you get mm-hmm. to live here now. If you're mm-hmm. going above that, you're not going to fly up as fast. You're going to be at that normalized leveling, pretty mm-hmm. standard stuff. But also, mm-hmm. if you go into a match and you're, mm-hmm. you know, you play, you're doing okay at a low level, mm-hmm. but then you go against like a recovery team for some reason, <laughs> and you're <laughs> like, okay, I'm at like Guardian Two here, and I just got absolutely mm-hmm. stomped. Um, mm-hmm. You're not gonna lose as much either. So right. if it's smart enough to do what it says, that all sounds really good, actually. Yeah. Uh, meanwhile, your skill rating is continually adjusting based on your performance, shifting the system's understanding of your expected rank and causing the glory system to respond by pulling you toward that rank. The result should be over time, your glory rank will become an accurate reflection of your skill. It also Mm -hmm. means that teammates of different skill will experience different glory adjustments from the same survival match. Mm. Interesting stuff here. What do you think? What do you think? Yeah, I I, kind of like it because um, I think ultimately this is going to push them closer to... The, the the balance as far as matchmaking that they want it's never going to be perfect let's just yeah. be clear right it's right. never going to be perfect right. but the thing about it is that at least if you get the sweats in their sweaty group they Quicker, where they rank yeah, spo- yeah they, let them be where they're supposed to be and let the rest be where they're supposed like everyone will be a little bit more even t- again we have we've heard things like this from Bungie before you know what i mean not to this extent We've heard, you know, things about them trying to improve from the skill skill base and stuff like that. You know, this is probably the most transparent they've been in reference to this. Yep. And I like what I'm hearing. You know what I'm saying? Because again, if if I'm starting out and I'm playing, you know, with my you know, with someone who is, you know, super sweat tier, you know, this is the guy, and we're ranking up, he should rank up faster because based on what his skill is, if they factor in KD, if they're fact, whatever they're factoring. If he's a beast, he should not be on the playground with me beating up little kids every day. Yep. Get him up there and let him beast out eventually to where he needs to be. Me, it'll be a gradual progression yeah, <laughs> to whenever I get yeah, there. For sure. But let me play with the guys who are on my level. So at least I feel like I'm somewhat confident out here but it's demoralizing to get there and get destroyed by team sweat so 
that's where I'm at with it. Again, sounds great in theory. I hope this all works. Right. You know, you know I mean, we'll theoretically, see. cool. But yeah. we'll have to see. I mean, even Sinister said it in chat. He's like, smart matching, smart matchmaking will never happen. And honestly, we won't know until we get to see. If I go in Listen. comp and, like, I'm a little, you know, a mm -hmm. little more forgiveness with the floors. And, mm -hmm. you know, hopefully 50 account recoveries aren't happening the same time I play. That's mm -hmm. the hardest part is those, honestly. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, as I've played up, whether I bumped into people, mm -hmm. had help on it, whatever it is, the people mm -hmm. playing at that level... Typically, are not the ones actually just at that level, because some people just don't want to, but they want the they want the reward, so they'll find some right. way to get it, and that's where that's where the issues come in. That's all. Right. No, absolutely. And but like in I theory, said, for a normal group of people, the good ones should be up top. Yeah, absolutely. That's what you get. Shadow Keep has a few sandbox changes to abilities. Ooh, just, just a little a bit. Couple. Just a little bit. Just not, a little not many. This is a bit quick. This be quick. If you look at like the scroll bar on the side of my Jeez. page. I'm like a third down the page right now. If you guys are wondering if this would, I think this update is as long of a page yeah. of scrolling text as all three mm -hmm. of Luke's things probably put mm -hmm. together. I have mm -hmm. a feeling. Yeah, uh, this is definitely the largest. <laughs> Writing my article, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to have to be selective with what I talk about because <laughs> there's a thousand things oh in here God. to talk about. And they're all significant. They like all oh, yeah, they're, they're pretty good chunks. So let's get to it. We got a lot buffs of work to do. first. Night mm -hmm. Stalker, Way of the Pathfinder. This is the bottom tree they kind of teased about with regards to the armor stream when they did their strike. Yes. This is the one to lead farther into the fantasy of a speedy disruptor. Pathfinder needs to find tools to scout the battlefield and ways to engage with gameplay more often. So mm -hmm. Vanish. Smoke Bomb grants invisibility to allies. Uh, it gives one stack of Heart of the Pack, newly revamped to all allies hit. Mm. Now, this is where, like, the stats may be different. Grants plus 34 to armor, recovery, and agility, mm -hmm. which I guess that would be maybe resilience mm -hmm. is where that would go. And gives max reload speed and handling max of three stacks. Gives, oh, weapon reload speed and handling max three stacks. Increased mm -hmm. invisibility duration by a second. Mm. Provision. Killing tethered mm -hmm. enemies creates super orbs and increases agility, arm, and recovery for allies. New perk, old perk benefits moved to be part of Mobius Quiver. Damaging mm -hmm. enemies with your grenade reduces the cooldown of your smoke bomb, 6% per tick. Making making allies invisible gives you grenade energy. So working on getting your grenade back more mm -hmm. frequently. And then Mobius, mm -hmm. Quiz, Mobius Quiver fires multiple fires super multiple times and deals massive damage to tethered targets. Mm -hmm. Added to... Added the old provision perk to naturally be part of Mobius Quiver. Killing tethered enemies creates super orbs and grant stacks of Heart of the Pack for allies. Extended the range of Heart of the Pack from 20 to 30 meters. Mm -hmm. So this is like a big support grenade tether build. Mm -hmm. Very uh, big, very big. So as like, well as support with with the uh, with the with the with the whole making making your allies invisible. Yeah, invisible and extra armor and. Reload speed, mm -hmm. all those things are going to be pretty big. So, yeah, yeah, that invisibility throw, helping people out in the pinch, using that as recovery, getting them out of tough spot, tethering enemies, making more orbs, having farther range on heart of the pack. I mean, this is they're changing the way some of these feel. They want to really help some of these supers to be viable, and I think this is yeah. long time in the making, which is nice. Mm -hmm. Shadow shot super. <laughs> Top and bottom damage wow. increased from 150 to 250. One shot kill in PvP. Mm. 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 Improved tether <laughs> accuracy near obstacles suppresses on hit is more consistent. Whoa. So this is big. This is big. This makes tether this viable again. Yeah. That's what I like. I don't know what Sinister was complaining about when we were talking before this show. He's a he's a he's a hunter man. And he was getting all out of shape. I'm like, did you not read these? No. <laughs> like, this is damaging. One shot kill. That's what Hunter's been wanting. A one shot kill and PvP with it. And then, like I said, improve tether accuracy. Suppress on hit. Is Suppress on hit's the big one. Like, if you get hit, you have that delay where you can get out of crap. Like, no, -uh. yep. Like, shut them down. That's the whole point of this super is to shut mm -hmm. people down. So, no, that's. Suppressing on hit? Yeah, that's huge. That's going to be big. Big time. So yeah, mm -hmm. that's that's probably one of the biggest ones. It's just tethers are actually going to be one shot kills. People even in packs 
said they were feeling that, but also just the bottom trees they talked about before. Much more viable mm-hmm. in a lot of places. I agree. Sentinel, Sentinel. What Sentinel's doing? Sentinel Code of the Protector. Top tree. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. This path is the main support role for Titans and focuses heavily on melee while staying near allies. We want to focus mm-hmm. more on heavily buffing allies so that players can take care. Can't care about timing of their buff usage. So defensive strike. Melee ability that creates an overshield for nearby allies. All kills while the overshield is active. Grant melee energy for the player with the shield. Mm-hmm. Rallying force. Melee kills. Heal nearby allies. Mm-hmm. So if you're up there, like, punching all the guys running up to you, then you're doing mm-hmm. a good thing for your team. Heal buff allies from... Heal buff from 10 health and 10 shield to 10 health and 20 shield, which still mm-hmm. seems small, but, you know, heals a heal. Yep. Ward of Dunn. Yes. Increase ward health versus supers. Most supers will re- require the whole thing to be dumped onto the ward to destroy it, but will usually not kill the player inside. Mm. So now, like, if somebody wants to break a bubble, they got to dump a super to break your super. Right. Which That's seems like. fair. Um, ward you grants you weapons of light buff when passing through it. 35% weapon damage for 15 seconds. Mm. That's a long time. That's a big deal. That's a long time. You That's pass through it long. once, work on it for it's a while. A, I don't know how long it lasts. Pass through it that one more time. Take it with you. Bro, that's a turnstile right there. Just going in and out, mm-hmm. getting that 35. As that's you're reloading, big, which you're going to have yeah. to reload now. Passing mm-hmm. through, coming back mm-hmm. out. Make, does everybody just line up and circle through? All right, I'm firing, I'm firing. Reloading and getting my buff. All right, firing, firing, firing. Reloading yep. and getting my buff just to circle. Mm-hmm. Grants Thank additional you. super orbs. That's fine. Uh, but the big one is, like, Weapons of Light, we knew it was coming back. 35% yes. buff for 15 seconds is large. Mm-hmm. I mean, this is definitely going to be a viable super now Time. in certain situations, mainly a lot of PvE fights. Mm-hmm. I mean, can big you imagine time. even just word of it on on a control point? That's what I'm saying. Think about that. People just camping up and just, all you got to do is pass through it. You don't pass get through, to you got the bubble, and then somebody out there is 35% extra damage. You're going to lose that fight if you're both, the, like, similarly accurate. You will lose. You're going to lose. Five 35% axe. is large. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's a huge deal. Uh, Sentinel Code of the Aggressor. Bottom shield bash shoulder charge that disorients nearby enemies. Now suppresses the target hit and any enemy within two meters. But they say they basically have to be standing right next to them. But if you mm-hmm. do shield bash two people close, the other person's going to have a harder time killing you, which is good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'll let you talk about your uh, warlock action. Yes, sir. Void Walker Attunement of Hunger. So bottom tree, which has not really been using as much, but Vortex Nova Bomb leaves behind a damaging AOE pool. Initial explosion damage increased by 15%. Then also the lingering damage is increased by 15%. Is that new? No, that's been there. But what it is is basically... The AOE you know pool that... from Nova Bomb? Oh, Nova yeah. Bomb. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking yeah. um, Nova Warp. Warp, yeah. So up, you throw that bad boy down, then it still has the real effect, and it'll stay there. Shout out to Paul Five, Warlocks in the house, you already know. <laughs> yeah, so that that's a big deal. But oh, we'll get into the next one. Uh, Dawn Blade, Attunement of Grace. Well of Radiance, alternate super that creates a healing buffing field for allies. And then it's, now it's going to grant an additional orb. So that's the another one that's adding another orb. And then um, auto-generated orbs now grant the same amount of super energy as regular super orbs. Previously, the orbs gave less super energy on the par with master orbs. That's so, good. Um, yeah, man, this is, this is interesting. You know what I'm saying? I think they're trying to make, you know, I'll say right quick, they're definitely trying to make bottom tree more sexy as far as the Nova Bomb because everybody's taking top because of Cataclysm, because it would split and those little joints would track you. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, but I think this could be significant because the increase, it's basically a double buff. They're increasing yeah. the, the damage of it initially and the lingering damage. So you mm-hmm. do some carpet effect with it as well. It's going to be, it's going to be interesting, man. You know, a tournament of grace with the, um, what you call the additional super orbs and all that. That's cool. I guess I'm a, I'm, the only thing I was disappointed here, Edo. Dawnblade top tree needs love. And I'm shocked that nothing got blessed with Top Tree because Top Tree, they want you to kind of stay in the air a lot. And I think they only have like one exotic that's really a Top Tree exotic. And that doesn't really do anything, you know, 
for um damage or whatever, whatever. I think they still have to do something for uh, for top tree um Dawnblade. And I was that's what I was hoping for and I didn't get that. I was, no. I was surprised by that part. Yeah, that is but a little surprising. I, yeah. Void definitely bottom tree void definitely needed something. It's not being cho- chosen. All right. And that used to be a very viable build. But go ahead. No, no. I was going to say nerfs. Uh, mm-hmm. Way of the Trapper, Top Tree, Night Stalker, uh, Fires, Shadow Shot, Fires an Arrow that damages enemies and debuffs uh, enemies nearby. Damage mm-hmm. sharing for Night Stalker player specifically reduced from 100 to 50%. Now all allied players have 50% damage sharing on Tether. So is that like flipped Ooh. where you don't do as much but everybody else can? Yes, that's okay. what it feels like. That, that's what it, it feels it sounds like, like. Yeah, they're making it the way of the trapper to support this a support joint. So they're yeah. reducing the player, but all your allies have fifty percent damage on, on, on that talent. Sharing that talent says nerf, but that's I mean, it's just spreading the love more than anything. I'll that's say. what it's I'm saying. Really that's nerf. why yeah. again, this is the one sentence was freaking out. Oh, they reduced it by whatever. But if you're tethering and you're giving your whole team fifty percent more damage as a team, that's a big deal. Seems like it's okay. Unless mm-hmm. it was like a hundred percent for everybody and now everybody's reduced. But if not everybody else got that got to share in it, then I feel like that's what it should have been the whole time, honestly. Yes. I agree. So, to me functionality wise, I feel like it should be up. Uh yep. Way of the Wraith, flawless execution. Headshot kills while cranched grain invisibility and true sight. True sight now lasts three seconds instead of nine. Thank you. Yes. Are you kidding me? I've seen true sight in like cool guys' videos and other people's videos. That is so busted. Oh my yeah. god. Yeah. Yeah, true sight's like I'm sorry, that's mm-hmm. wall hacks. Not really cool. Mm-hmm. Shattering strike after performing a flawless execution, your melee attacks mm-hmm. have a longer lunge range and weaken enemies. Now they said this mm-hmm. got tied in with flawless execution. They're gonna mm-hmm. fix a little like issue with it where this lasts longer, but then the true sight mm-hmm. doesn't last as long. So those mm-hmm. were tied together. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We got some contention. The hunters are what? They're saying shot for Daniel for King is sinister. They're saying with the shadow shot that because it used to do everyone had a hundred percent damage, you know what I'm saying? It's a nerf, right? So as far as the allied players as well. So, so everybody's they, getting they, less. Yeah, so that that's their point of contention. They're like, nope, it's still a nerf. We used to do hundred percent and the allies used to do hundred percent. Now we're doing fifty percent. So they pissed. <laughs> Wait, where you at with that? <laughs> I mean, that's that is, is weird it deserved. I don't think so. Okay. I mean, mm-hmm. now damage sharing for the Night Stalker players specifically reduced from 50 to 100. Now all allied players have 50% sharing on Tether. I guess if everybody's down to 50% damage sharing, maybe they just don't want... I mean, they're going towards this, just trying not to nerf everything faster. Right. I guess they felt Tether was too strong. I guess. I guess my mentality is if someone's... If a hunter initiates the tether right and are we look first of all we're looking at this from a from a pvp perspective we're looking at it i'm going pve all right so if i'm looking at it not really so worried about right so if i'm looking at as a pve yes this is a nerf this is a hard nerf in the sense that yeah we used to do 100 percent damage now we're doing 50 percent damage on you know said top targets i get that but the other thing too that we have to keep in mind is that with this whole, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying it's right, but the vibe we're taking we have away been my getting, fun. my fun exactly. is going the away. Vi- listen, the hunters, y'all cry. The, the vibe we're getting is the same way when we were, we were using the exotics that was generating all the orbs and we were super chaining and all that other stuff. To me, it seems like they're trying to control that aspect of not letting this get out of hand based on whatever they got planned. Because it was the same thing with, with um, I was like, damn, why they nerfed. Dyer Amankara, you know, Phoenix Protocol, we got killed on that. So, like, those exotics in conjunction with that super now made it not as powerful anymore. So, yeah. it seems to me they are scared of y'all because of y'all 100% with what they got playing going on with it. That's just the vibe. That's how, to me, how Bungie seems to work. And what damage sharing is one thing you think about, too, is, like, I know, mm-hmm. if you think about, hey, Tether the Boss or whatever we used to do, like, even in D1, right. it wasn't mm-hmm. as ever much about sharing the damage. Right. So, I mean, yeah, this is a nerf in sharing damage, but you're still, the little guys die quick. If you're still right. trying to, like, debuff the boss, that's... Right, which is, we're going to get to that point. To me, this is slowing them down 
from melting bosses. Like the vibe that, that seemed to be consistent is they don't want boss melting. Yep. They don't want dudes throwing the tether, doing the joint. They don't want dudes sitting in one spot doing what they do. That's the vibe I'm, I'm hearing. Oh, and that comes but, right here. Yeah, let's Instant get it. reloading. In the mm -hmm. beginning, Luna Factions and Rally Barricade did exist. They were clunky mm -hmm. to use. They had... Um, they still had dramatic impact on gameplay, but eventually mm -hmm. they decided their effects became easier to handle. So then right. they tweaked them. I mean, Rally Barricade, you didn't have to crouch behind it to get your reload. They just made it standing behind it. So, I mean, they've right. changed things up. Luna Factions working with Well of Radiance, which was introduced later on. <laughs> that mm -hmm. broke the damn game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, the big changes here. Titan, ba Rally Barricade, and Well of Radiance, Warlock Rift. Luna Faction moves mm. are going to be the same thing. The ability now provides a large increase to reload speed for the duration of the effect. This ability no longer automatically reloads your weapon from reserves. Both of them work mm. the same way. Mm. So, Hunters, if you feel like you got nerfed, trust me, we just got yeah. ours. <laughs> this is us. All the way. You thought y'all got it? <laughs> Woo! This is literally everyone's flow. Everyone. From every raid. Oh, yeah. Pull out the rally barricade. You're going to have to learn how to fight Riven again. Yo, well, like, you got the Luda Factions. This is everybody getting hit with this. Oh, you're so, going to fight Riven for real? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if the spike grenade thing going to work. I mean, you can still put out damage. just depends on how quick mm -hmm. you can reload. Yeah. I guess the, I know people are still going to test Riven, though. I mean, people melt yeah. Riven fast. So fast. depending on if it's like... I mean, I'm trying to think what's a really fast reload. Like, if it's like an outlaw reload, it's going to be pretty quick still. It's just not like mm -hmm. bam, 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 bam. So, I mean, there's going to be mm -hmm. a breath in there. And they're trying right, to get right, some right. reload mechanics. They're trying to put that breath in there. And the biggest thing is something like, this probably affects Mountaintop more than anything else. Yes. Because Mountaintop is a single shot breach. And if you can just dump 15 shots of Mountaintop, <laughs> yeah, that's that's broken. Like, at least you... Mm -hmm. boom, it could be faster, but you can't. I mean, it lowers the DPS of that thing drastically. Mm, Swarm of the, the Raven, breaches. the drum load, the heavies, like Prospector and Swarm. You're still going to get six or seven out of those. Get a quick yeah, reload, quick. six or seven. You're mm -hmm. still going to be able to do a good chunk with your heavies. There, right. This is their, This is actually probably the smartest way they could take Mountaintop out of being busted. Yeah, you can shoot it here, wipe out this mm -hmm. quick enemy, shoot it into you know a, a major... Mm -hmm knock him out real quick, but you're not just going to unload Mountaintop after you unloaded your Swarm of the Raven. Yeah, this is... this is Standing this is still and fighting bosses. We knew it was going away. We knew it was coming. They hinted at this. Luke was... That was one of the first things he said. You know what I'm saying? When one of those directors joined. So this... This is no surprise. Now, I will say this, though. Here's my only issue, and I said it in my article. Got the article up right now. Check it out. Lords of Gaming.net. Put it in there for y'all. My issue is this. When it's abilities, I get it, right? You know, it's an ability, it's a well, it's a rally barricade. I get that. My issue comes down to um, as far as the whole exotic. When you have exotics that are specific just to do one thing as far as like what what uh what Luna Faction is doing. The whole yep. purpose of Luna Faction is literally just so your allies can not have to reload and pull from reserves, right? Yep. So now they take this away. All I'm saying is, let's give stuff like this, stuff like the Finnish Protocol stuff, some other passive thing now that it can do because it really is kind of useless now. I oh, mean, because let's be real, like. I mean, that's one thing not, that needs to happen to a lot of armor, though. It's like right. many things that don't have great functions or unused functions. Like, you have the right. data, who's using half of these damn exotics? Right. How has Aeon Soul never been reworked? How has the entire Aeon set never been like, all right, this is a failed experiment. People have it out there. Can we make this something? That's what I'm saying. Like, they, they've got, to, listen, we know they got a lot on their plate. I'm not going to be disrespectful. But when it comes to non-functional Exactly. You've got the usage rates. Ain't nobody running around with these, these joints. They're not running around with them. This, unfortunately, Skull is now this. Now Luna Faction is this. There's no need. If I have the well, you know, why would I even put it this way? You know who said it good? Tassie. Paul Tassie. Shout out to Tassie. Literally, Luna Faction has become a fitting aspect. <laughs> In a way, it's just like, okay, 
you know, you reload a little faster. Like what what's this, what's gonna differentiate the, the Luna Faction boots and the Ophidian aspects joint, which kind of now yeah, what is you know, do the same I have the same thing. They've got to now give it passive secondary functionality on something else so that you can use it for something else. That's that's pretty much all I was saying. Yeah, it's like they are quick about making be like, okay, we're gonna change the way this works. Okay, mm -hmm. well if it's useless just like it just starts crossing more exotics off the list of functional yeah. and they wonder why we always get steered into these places because we don't have right. six viable other options there's still just one option is going to be there mm -hmm. they're afraid mm -hmm. to like bring other things too close to other like well right. this is this is too powerful let's bring it out okay this is where we're at mm -hmm. is nothing else is on this level really mm -hmm. well crap i agree so I agree. Yeah, it's a balancing of those used and unused you know there's data i mean i get there's like mm -hmm. ones that have certain uses, but I mean, how often are some of those oddball things really used? Exactly. Really? There's tons of exotics. Again, and they and at the start of D2, they started off strong with we, we working a lot of them. If you remember, remember? They were like, hey, we're taking these three. We're going to give them back to you. Now they do this, right? They got to get back in pocket with that. That's all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, what mm -hmm. else we got? Go. Super energy back. regeneration. Ooh, yeah. Let me grab this. There you go. You can get this. Yeah, this is probably these... almost more PvP than the other. Mm -hmm. These changes will reduce the speed, which players are able to earn their super, which sports difficulty and reduces the current ability to trivialize certain content <laughs> through excessively chaining supers. Mm -hmm. Systematically, we want to reduce base sources of supers on a large macro scale, without diminishing the feeling that your actions are you are gaining you a worthwhile energy boost. By reducing the speed at which you gain super, we can make mods and perks feel more worthwhile. We still want it to feel like you can make meaningful progress, not only through normal play, but by augmenting super energy through teamwork, class choices, gear, and skillful play. Then we got the whole breakdown with energy granted by super orbs, basically 50% reduction. Mm. When uh, Super Orb and it's 50%. Masterwork Orbs have been hit too. 50% reduction down to 2.5%. Kills in general, 25% reduction. And they break those, all those percentages down per enemy and all that stuff. Assists, 25% reduction. So, um, yeah, real quick on this E. Um, where you at with the Super Reduction, man? Um, I think it's going to be better for PvP. Yeah. Some people don't chain as much. Or if mm -hmm. one team goes on that super tear, they don't just all of a sudden fill each other's supers and it's just this constant progression where you need to get a third into a match and everybody's just going super crazy the whole time. Yeah. Snowball. <clears throat> like the kills mm -hmm. seem like minor reductions where you get a little bit little bit less. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, as obviously you look at the numbers, they're pretty small in the first right. place uh, that right. you get. So, I mean, they're going to steer you towards more a higher intellect mm -hmm. build if you want supers. Right. <laughs> That's, I think, where they're going to want to steer you towards to make that more mm -hmm. viable. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm with I you. Mean, I mean, I won't really that... know how this feels <clears throat> until we actually see it in action. Because, I right. mean, in Destiny 2, we had crap weapons and really slow supers. Oh, yeah. Slow that was year one. Point... Yeah, everything was like... <sighs> Bro, slow supers and slow ability to the point that they had to make exotics to increase super recharge rates and stuff like that. Yeah. Remember that? So, mm -hmm. I know. So, I mean, you see super orbs being 50% less... Masterwork orbs being 50% less. Um, I mean, yeah, you can stack them a lot sometimes. I've seen people be pretty crazy at a point. Mm. I won't know until I play it, really. Um, mm. And I guess we'll just have to see. I mean, the super mm. is one of those that... In PvE, I wish this was almost like PvP only more. Because mm. in PvP, where, when it gets out of control, just kind of like the heavy... When it gets out of control, it gets really out of control. And then mm -hmm. they're stacking and chaining. People are just running behind people with supers and be like, all right, who's the next yeah. in the train? All right, you come who's up with the one yeah. super. <laughs> we're going to follow behind you. But in mm -hmm. PvE, you've got typically so much going on. It's pure chaos, like chaining mm -hmm. supers and stuff. There's a strategy to doing it in PvE that I feel mm -hmm. like is no detriment to you. Right. So I guess I don't know. I'll have to see how it feels. But if it's too much in PvE, I think that's where I'll have my issue. PvP, okay. it's fine because it brings more skill back into it and gunplay and stuff like that as opposed mm -hmm. to just supers and abilities and novas and throwing hammers and whatever else you're going to do. 
Mm. That I'm okay because that brings more skill into it. But in PVE, it is still space magic, and I want to have some fun. No, so no, I think that's my balance enough. between them. Fair enough. Fair enough. What else we got? Uh, we got damage multipliers. Mm. We knew this was coming. Mm-hmm. The biggest well, way to sum this up, you're going to yeah. have one buff and one debuff. Kind of said that that's last it. week when we were talking about some of the artifact, the uh, mm-hmm. artifact stuff. You can't have Well of Radiance and Weapons of Light on Stack you at the it. same time. And you can't go do a Void Tractor Cannon with a, a Hammer Strike and a Tether. Now, the debuffs mm-hmm. typically would only do one, but your buffs probably seemed a little broken. Yeah. So now we're kind of at the point where they're fixing that. It's one mm-hmm. on one side and one on the other. Uh, mm-hmm. They've got Frontal Assault. Bonus damage is 20%, was 25. Sun Warrior. Mm-hmm. Bonus damage is now 20, was 25. Well of Radiance mm-hmm. is now 25, was 35. Weapons mm-hmm. of Light is now 35, was 25. Mm-hmm. So Weapons of Light is stronger. Well is mm-hmm. weaker, but you can stand in Well and you don't have to move. So in the balance, those are going to be pretty mm-hmm. similar. Mm-hmm. Uh, debuffs, Shadow Shot is now less incoming damage. Um, mm-hmm. this, this effect no longer excludes power weapons, though, for Shadow Shot. Mm-hmm. So that is, mm-hmm. that is a good fix. Yep. Um, tractor Cannon. I did not mm-hmm. know this, by the way, because mm-hmm. it might have got. Is this always been there? Yeah. Well, that this was been edited because when track the cannon it was first, just void. It was just void. Yeah. And this now yeah. says for all elements. They're changing it again. They're changing it once again. So this is for, no. When, when, no, when it first came out, if I recall, you could track the cannon and. Any element that was affected, I mean, any element that you used after you buffed the, I mean, you debuffed with, with the tractor mm. would get the damage multiplier. Then they nerfed it and said, okay, it got to be void. Okay. And it could be void only, but then we're going to reduce the percentage of how much you're gonna, we're going to let you debuff. Now, <laughs> they're going back to all, you know what I'm saying? It looks like, you know what I'm saying? And then, um, it's all, you but know, it's less. But it's less. Yep. So that's the so new way. The tracker cannon is now just like not a void thing. It's just that is a debuff. Yeah, a debuff just, shot. it's a debuff, but uh, uh, lo- less across the board debuffing. Hammer mm-hmm. strike is down to 30%. Duration mm-hmm. increased, though, from 6 to 10. So that's like, Ooh. that's a trade. It's a trade. I mean, you give up, well, you give up 40%. You get mm. probably about 40% in time. So, I mean, it's a, you got to survive longer. You can't just dump it quicker. Right. Just a lot of their theme. Shattering Strike, mm-hmm. identical. Same thing. Yeah, same thing, pretty much. But yeah, they're, right. they're changing the buffs. Reduce mm-hmm. super damage resistance. This is your... um. Mm-hmm. It's about as far as I got to read, so I'm going to give you this one. Yeah, yeah, man. Super damage. So basically, uh, yeah, since the launch, they basically slowly introduce buffs to supers. They don't want people to run around mindless. <sighs> so basically, what they're saying is... Not long ago, we experimented with Spectral Blades by lowering the damage resistance substantially. These changes were generally well-received and improved the experience for the Super for both the person running it and the person who was running from it. In PvE, players shouldn't feel their Super makes them invulnerable, and casting one should call for situational strategic thinking. In PvP, players need to feel that they can challenge a Super, and that with skillful play, there's a chance they can beat it. So super damage resistance removed from Masterwork armor. Everyone, everybody did Masterwork. <laughs> All five of you. <laughs> Let me stop. Yeah. Inherit super damage resistance lowered by category. See below. So low, 54% down to 49%. Do R, Nova War, Thunder Crash, Blaze Barrage. Nova Bomb and Well of Radiance. So those goes down from 54 to 49. Medium will be from 56 to 51. Hammer of Soul and Daybreak Supers. Yeah, and the tiny. high <laughs> group will be the Fist of Havoc, Burning Maul, Sentinel Shield, Arc Staff, Arc Lightning, and Shadow Shot. Those go down from 60% to 53% and the others unchanged will be Spectral Blade staying the same, Golden Gun, and Chaos Reach. So, E, Super Damage Resistance. Where you at with this? Well, I mean, they're, they're all basically 50% now. 
Mm-hmm. Um, 54 down to 49, 56 down to 51, 50 mm-hmm. or 60 down to 53. They're all basically around 50. I mm-hmm. mean, the easier supers are to kill, the better. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, being killed by <clears throat> roaming supers forever sucks. But e, they said we want they want to make us feel powerful at the beginning of the D two, and now they're taking away my power fantasy. What about that? This is PvP, right? This is everything. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, it's like in PvP, players need to feel like they can challenge a super. That's the biggest mm-hmm. thing about this entire sentence. Mm-hmm. PvP players shouldn't feel like their super makes them invulnerable, and casting one should call for situational strategic, strategic but thinking. Man, I want to feel powerful. I want to run my super on loop and, and get you when you spawn again. Yeah, hell no. <laughs> F that. There's this not even not an F in it. chat. No. <laughs> if I get killed by the I same kill super the whole twice... Team. And then see you spawn and kill you again with my rolling super. This is unfair. Bungie nerf, nerf, nerf. Language warning incoming. Cover your ears. That's bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Get him, me. <laughs> yeah. No. I mean, guy. yeah. It's like, I think everybody is so tired of it. It's like, is that the same? Oh, my God. That's the same damn Titan. Or it's the same special. <laughs> it's typically Titans and Spectral Blades and Dawn Blades because you guys can fly around the freaking yeah. map. You're the same, too, because you last long. Yeah, like any super where killing yeah. stuff makes it extend. Yeah. Crap, you need to be weak as hell. You need to be weak sauce. Facts. I agree. You gotta I play agree. it smart. And if you're invisible I like agree. a hunter, man, you need to be weak. Titans running yeah. around, at least you gotta see us coming. Dawn blades, you guys mm. fly around, you're hard as hell to hit, but dude. Mm-hmm. And they fast. Titans, you're like you're... or warlocks, you're like shing, shing, yep. shing, yep. shooting everywhere. Yep. So it's like, at least us titans kind of have to run places. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, no, it's like it's. I'm is, fine with it. Um, yeah, it, it, it had to happen, and, and this is not my excuse. It's it just again, the, the 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 consensus is when someone here, you hear a super, you run. Mm-hmm. It's never an option to challenge. You're going to lose. So now, yo, you got to shop. If you're cut, like basically, you just can't be reckless. If you're using your super, you're still gonna get killed. You just can't be reckless. You know, coming down a block a mile away. Hey, I'm here. I'm coming to get you. You know what I'm saying? Right. You could get dealt with now. Now mm-hmm. you could get dealt with. You could get sniped. You could get team shot. You're going to have to be strategic with it. I'm fine with that. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's some supers. Look, I'm a Dawnblade. Dawnblade can be disgusting because it, it rewards oh, skill so... with kill. So, I mean, I'm not say skill with kill, but it rewards. If you get killed, you're going to chain. It's going to it last so I Yeah. I have to admit, I, I, I'm a wall. I mean, that one is... It lasts a long time. It lasts time. really long in PvE, too. I've goofed around with that. Yeah. Like, I'm Goofing still around, right? killing stuff. Like, still oh killing. My God. Still up. You see it. Go back 30 up. seconds go later. Up. Yep. If you, if you chain a bunch of low-level enemies or red bar, you can keep going and attack the boss and do DPS to everyone. And you can do a lot with that. So mm-hmm. I, I got to admit, it, it's, it's good. It, it needs to happen. It needs to happen. Especially PvP. Man, you got to feel like you got a shot against it because them spectral blades y'all titans running around man it'd be tough to get away from y'all yeah mm-hmm. you're you have a heat seeking fire fire blade too and yeah, you fly on the free. map yeah i gotta admit though i was a little disappointed no 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 what should have been left alone no what got used enough <laughs> i still use Nova Warp all the time and i still feel it. it's it's very it's very spongy now it's it no one's using Nova Warp like that so i was surprised that one still got hit a little it's on the low end of getting hit, but I'm like, damn, like, Nova Warp was already kind of squishy as it is now, so. Yeah, well, That's just know. my two cents. That's it. That's what uh, I and then that kind of gets to the bottom. We've yeah. got a um, mm-hmm. little bit of patch coming. There's stuff about if you have silver on Steam, spend it, or on Battle.net, spend it. Battle.net. It's not mm-hmm. coming over. Mm-hmm. But that is most of it. We've got yeah. a little, little tidbit here in the final segment, though. Mm-hmm. Yes, Shadow yeah. Keep is so close. So close. Woo! I can't wait to get back on that lunar service with y'all. This is from Dylan <laughs> or DMG or Damage. Mm-hmm. See you next week when we talk about some exciting sand- ch- sandbox changes to weapons mm. like Sunshot having 12 in the mag mm. or Graviton mm. Lance getting a 30% PVE damage increase. Whoa. Let's go, baby. Let's Graviton's go. I love Graviton. Gra- about to finish that Graviton, Graviton masterwork Graviton. now. Yeah, I'm mad though, because I'm on con. I mean, on PC, I don't have the baby, 
which was the catalyst. I, I don't have it, but I used to have it. But I just miss Graviton. I love that. Those were fun buffs. When Sunshot and Graviton came up during that vanilla stage of oh, D2, yeah. it felt good. Yeah. So to get, we got to get them back in the mix. That was a good gun, man. It was a fun gun. So Sunshot 12, all right, let's go, man. That was let's eight. Go. That's the biggest thing a lot of people would say. Sunshot's yeah. fun. It just doesn't have enough of the mag. Bam, 12. Yeah. 12. And that, but here's the thing, though. They got to give us sources, extra sources for the catalyst since there's no they really ETA do. on when faction rallies coming back. Yeah. And I miss all that fly stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, you know, it, it, this is this is good, though. We got to see what's going on. So, yeah. Next week, man, we got some more. Listen, it's like every week they kill us with info. Oh, I know. I don't. I don't way. know how much more they're gonna throw at us. They've got to run out at some point, but maybe not. This well, next feels like the literally next expansion. week is gonna be sandbox changes the weapon, so we're gonna see scout rifle buffs. I've been holding on to some god rolls just for this scout purpose, rifle bro. buffs coming. That's some god rolls, bro. I can't wait. I shout out to my distant relation. Shout out to Polaris Land. I can't wait to see what y'all gonna do. Oh man, I cannot wait. It's it's gonna be fun. I got some really cool, uh, sh uh what you call it, scouts that I cannot wait to test out. Purposely, yeah, I know you. I don't even have to ask you. You probably got the entire scout rifle collection <laughs> with four variants per each. With how you no, pour. my weapons are really not as bad. Mm -hmm. I had more armor mm -hmm. stuff because and scouts. Ooh. I really didn't keep that many. Hold on, hold on. Got to start the podcast. Well, shout out to my man, Paul Five, the warlock in the building. Salute. You forgot. I forgot about my oxygen, bro. And not SR3. only do I got three. Yeah. Yes. Got my. Not only that, I got dragonfly spec on that bad boy too. It is disgusting. Explosion. Everybody does, don't they? Well, not everybody. Oh, you mean the the mod? Sorry, yeah. You gotta get that mod. You gotta get that yeah. dragonfly dragon spec mod. mod. Go get that from, from I've Ada. It. I've got it. I'll go throw it in there. There you go. Throw that bad boy. L let me tell you the, the the explosions. You think sunshot is something, <laughs> bro? That's legendary scout Shun Scott. It's beast. Throw that dragonfly spec on you. Get. I'm telling y'all, everybody, hold on to your god roll scouts. I'm telling y'all, scouts look like they about to do something serious. Yeah, can I wait? I'm looking through mine. I got, mm -hmm. I got two jade mm -hmm. rabbits in the Ooh. same nightfall run the other day. It's in my I saw video. It. I was like, what the hell? One dropped randomly, and one was the final reward. So I've got jade rabbit for days. I saw that. I I've got a talons that. of the eagle, which is mm, that's a good one. That's a good one. I am banished. Outlaw scout. rampage. Woo! You ready? You ready? I believe that's got, kinetic too, right? Oh yeah, it is. I've got yeah, the transfiguration nice. curated, outlaw explosive Jealous, head, explosive you got, payload. What you got the transfiguration? I've I'm got jealous. a night watch with that sucks. I'm trying to see. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> like, no, it's threat detector, but it's got yeah. multi kill clip, which is kind of a trade. Okay. I mean, no, I've got no. I've had like two of the curated vouch safe. Um, you got you got your Polaris, of course. Do you have your Polaris catalyst? Get that popping. Uh, Get that popping. Go, go to the. Let me, let me tell you the hustle. Go no, to the. Hold on. Um, no, no, I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay. No, I was looking. It was the weapon mod, something like that. Yeah, that perfect fifth with that explosion's real nice. But I can't front, man. Now that Paw Five got me thinking, Polaris might be in the bushes with with a legendary, oxygen. Yeah, legendary oxygen, oxygen be... bro. With dragonfly, I, I don't even waste it. I'm not wasting my exotic slot now. That oxygen is what it is. So yeah, that's gonna be. I think oxygen God, is gonna be. We giving y'all meta right now. Giving y'all meta game. Oxygen is our three. Only Woo. bad thing is there's not a lot of solar shields out there and everything we're about mm -hmm. to fight. Shout out to Prescott. Prescott, he's got that distant relation on deck. Outlaw Rampage. Every. It's my scout, scout people gang. I, I see y'all. I see mm -hmm. everybody's ready, man. That's why this is why I love the meta when it shifts. I hold on to those bad boys, yeah. those good rolls. As you know, that time is gonna come. And this is time. Can't wait for next week. Now, I wanted to say one little thing. Uh, yes, randomly yes. looking through Twitter, there was an yes. Undying Armor mod screenshot that potentially got leaked. Ooh. Oh, let's go. So, Undying Armor mod, this will be for that extra slot. Mm -hmm. Cost three energy. Active only mm -hmm. in the Garden of Salvation raid. Mm. So we do have raid-specific mods, which we've mm. kind of seen one before. Gain an overshield after you collect five moats. This Whoa. mode's effect does not stack with other copies of this mod. 
Whoa, wait, this is a gambit? Wait, hold on, wait, break that down? What's that? Gain an overshield after you collect five moats, only active in the Garden of Salvation. Either this is like the wrong place for a mod to be, yeah. but it says enhanced voltaic moat collector. I don't know what the hell that is. There's going to be weird. some raid mechanic dealing with mechanic, picking up moats. Yeah, picking up moats, yeah. That means Taken might be involved. Jeez, I don't, oh, I thought I was done with Taken. <laughs> Tell you thought you was done with Taken. <laughs> Yeah, we gotta, we gotta see. That's yeah, that's a very unique mechanic. Yeah, that was weird. I don't know if that's like wrong text or what, but I was just wondering when we have Garden of Salvation coming into mm -hmm. coming into it, like yeah, what do you think? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Any any thoughts on Garden of Salvation? Any wonders, hopes, right. opinions, like? Like what? Who I want to see, or what I want to see, or what do you what do you want to fight? I mean, we're going to the Black Garden, so you've got. Vex is taken gonna be messing with everything or hive gonna be what are we what are we doing? Well, I just Core is taking us through. So they are converging there. We we have to see why they're converging, why they're being drawn there, why are they seem insistent on protecting this area with all it seemed like the entire Vex race, right? <laughs> and then the vibe I got was then Luke low key hint like after this, like the remnants of almost like a taken war. Like a Vex war is still going to be around. Like the vibe I'm getting is they, they are here for some. So I, maybe I'm guessing that whole um you know purple what was it a space Dorito gang? Yeah. Maybe there's some one dude there, and there's some threat that it, that they are taking very seriously. When they when the Vex change their directive, as they work with like a hive mind, a collective mind, they, it's something for them to break protocol. They, they are taking something serious. It's on. We got to figure out why. It's going to be lit, man. It's going to be lit. I'm, I'm excited. I love when Destiny did this fantastically with Forsaken, you know, with the whole Barons first. We got into that. We thought it was just going to be that. Boom, Dreamer City. And this looks like the same thing in a sense. You know, we're going to start off Eris, you know, do with these, deal with these nightmares, see what's going on, and then Black Garden, the thematic change. Hype, what do you think, man? What do you, What's your what, what you're feeling? I mean, the leak that I read kind of keeps is what's like fresh in my mind. Um, mm -hmm. Little spoiler warning: you guys can tune out now if you want. Um, yes, yes, leaks. I mean, basically, the general idea was mm -hmm. what Eris wakes up. This is mm -hmm. major spoilers if this is real. Oh, let's go! Let's go! Heads up to everybody in chat. I'll give you yeah. five seconds to shut it. this baby yeah. down. Follow us on yeah. Twitter, Twitch, Ebontis, <laughs> Iron Lords podcast, all that you good stuff. Know. All that good stuff. We dropping dropping bombs now. Potentially, what she wakes up, mm -hmm. what's causing these nightmares, what's mm -hmm. able to awaken all this crap, mm -hmm. is a veil ship. Right. That's what I heard. Yep. That's what I heard. Okay. So it's okay, some okay. one of the veil. So it's mm -hmm. this like mystery fifth race that's way mm -hmm. the hell out there. Mm -hmm. So maybe it's truly a crashed space Dorito ship, which sounds mm -hmm. hilarious, but. Mm -hmm. um, and that's what starts raising these guardians that are floating in there, these like guardian ghosts mm -hmm. and raising the nightmares of what we have killed before. Mm -hmm. And then it's like, oh crap, this is what you guys woke up. Okay, the Vex have to make sure we don't get wiped out by this thing that is growing for us, this powerful veil that's coming. Mm -hmm. So that's mm -hmm. like the connection between both the Vex and the what's going on on the moon. Mm -hmm. So then uh, what remains behind? Well, part of the veil and maybe what comes next. And now we've got season of dawn, dawn of mm -hmm. what? Dawn, dawn of the of Veil, Dawn of Bad Stuff dawn coming, who knows? But see, the thing is, I'm with you all the way up until the point that it, we may be introduced to one aspect of yeah, that. Yeah, I think they you know? may be like the puppet master behind it, but I don't think we're going to yeah. fight them. Right, and I, I just think we're going to learn about it, but I, <laughs> I, I can't see them setting up Space Dorito Fifth Race all the way. I think they're going to hint. We're going to get a taste, yeah. a little clue. We have six I mean, tastes of all stories right now. Yeah, yeah. let's be real. Like, ever since we did the only... I mean, Season of Drifter was a story. Oh, I don't want to get me started with that. Trash. But we did see it culminate. They kept hinting Space Dorito. Everything keeps seeing Space Dorito and imagery all over the place. Yeah. So, yeah, I think maybe we finally see a glimpse or whatever, finally, in the flesh, realizing that that is the reason and then they probably keep it in tuck, you know, from D3. But my question to you oh. 
is before we get out of here because this is what's driving me nuts. <laughs> this is what's driving me nuts is Aldrin. When are we going to see him? Like I need to see Aldrin, fam. Come on, man. How long are they going? They they was talking about this connective storyline and when the season is going to go right into the next season. It's going to be this great story. Where's Aldrin at? He's around. He's out here moving and shaking. When, when is he pulling up in the tower? And I need my cut scene with Akora and Zavala. That's what I everybody's need. losing their mind. That is next September. Damn. I gotta wait that long. Mara's off doing Aldrin. her thing. Aldrin's gonna be in hiding because he doesn't somebody's told him to go in hiding, I'm sure. Mm. Otherwise somebody would just shoot him because they're like, what the hell are you all bam, shoot him again. <laughs> Fuck. Get him out of here. I was like, Mara's mm. threat is big. And um, Prescott mm-hmm. had a decent idea. It's like, I think it's going to be a season of a dying dawn, dusk, and night. And if you go mm-hmm. night or like season of dawn, a season of darkness, maybe is the last season mm-hmm. of darkness, right? Before we get to the veil mm-hmm. ships coming. And then it's like destiny three or destiny two subtitle mm-hmm. darkness or whatever mm-hmm. they want. Like it's mm-hmm. going to have to go. His he's mm-hmm. on the reef. His name is crow. His name is crow. Right. But that's my guess is, he, Mara, the darkness, the veil, they're a part of the bigger picture, is my hunch. I don't think Aldrin's mm-hmm. coming this this year. Yeah, and then the other thing is, we didn't really get closure with Callis. No? He out here, I mean, unless you... <laughs> unless you last a check, I was, he wants an audience with, um, what you call it, with Mara. That's the last thing I remember. I don't remember anything else specifically besides him championing us. And, you know, what do you do? You I mean, is Callus good? Is he bad? Is he ever going to turn on us? Or is he, like, like, just using us? Again, they got to progress the Callus thing and the, um, you know, the Aldrin thing. Those are two storylines I would like to, again, not that they got to complete, but just advance. You know what I'm saying? That, that's all I'm saying. Just advance it. Just Do we ever get know. to meet the Nine? I stay in the bushes as far as I'm concerned, but that's another story. I mean, if they're, if they're as big and powerful as we think they might be, are, they, are any of them ever going to be? Because we have the emissary. Are we ever mm-hmm. going to get out on that scale? So, no, there's there's a lot of unfinished stories, and yeah, I, yeah. I want to see all of them over the course of what's to mm-hmm. come. So, mm-hmm. don't know. I think of the darkness. All right, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, we got a lot yeah, of answer thinking, questions, man. I'm, 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 I'm thinking this will be the tease of the yes. veil. And then I don't know what's co- what we're gonna fight in the Black Garden, mm-hmm. but we'll have to see. So that's the that was the leak I heard. Sounded cool. Nice. Sounded nice. what like waking up that what would piss off the Vex enough? The veil. Yeah, yeah, that would make and sense. That, that's like a that seemed to think. Yeah. yeah. Most importantly, what is the Traveler and what are Ghost Slayer? It's like, and is the Traveler gonna be around? Is it awake? Is it gonna help? Is it gonna fight the mm-hmm. veil? Is it, if the veil is that close to us, is it just gonna like vaporize the moon? I mean, who knows? Yeah, well, we we know from based on the cinema with the, you know post Gaul, once it reawakened, they go you know space Doritos back in pursuit of this endless battle that they seem to have had. So, so season eleven, I think I'm using yours, uh, Prescott. It's going to be season mm-hmm. of darkness, right before whatever right. next September is. I'm thinking, mm-hmm. thinking that. All right, we'll see, man. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right, I'm well. Hyped. That's where we mm-hmm. wrap. We got through it in eh, not terribly long. Not but yeah, we are actually, two we did hours. okay. We did yeah, okay. Hours, we actually, yeah, we did okay. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, if you want to wrap up quick, we'll get this thing out of here. Yeah, man. Nice and speedy. Yeah. You already know. Shout out to the chat today. Everybody was outstanding. A lot of fun in the chat today. Yeah, man. You already know me at Lord Cognito on Twitter. Iron Lord Podcast on YouTube. And, of course, Iron Lord Podcast every Sunday no longer 1 p.m. Eastern. We're 11 a.m. Because oh, the Lord season. bend the knee to the NFL. <laughs> so NFL season for about maybe about half the season. Not going to do a full season. But about six to eight weeks. We will be at 11 a.m. Eastern on the Iron Law Podcast YouTube channel. Check us out this Sunday. We're going to be talking about the latest games. We have a special guest. We have the community manager for War Horse Studios going to be in there he's going to be talking about kingdom come deliverance he's going to be talking about his new game iron harvest we'll also be talking about the latest and greatest that has been going on in gaming the nintendo direct that was crazy that just dropped gears fibers out here that just dropped you know a lot of moving and shaking on the tech world 
you know, I'm giving y'all a preview right now. Y'all getting exclusive. You know what I'm saying? Get, getting that little X Cloud action. So um, please check us out. And of course, we really appreciate you guys with the retweets with lordsofgaming.net. You can catch articles that I label. Have a, I have a last word section. I got my boy up in there too. You know, go check him out. You know what I'm saying? So whatever we, I'd basically like to give you guys a preview of some things that we might discuss. Just my perspective coming in, you know, on a few of the topics that, you know, that we do. And then obviously we get that, bring that straight to the campfire every Friday, preferably 9 a.m. Eastern. The last word you already know with my man, Ebontis. We give you that looter shooter talk. And that's what I got, man. Yeah, uh, same mm-hmm. with me. It's Ibantis. Just follow the channel, Twitter, Twitch. You guys know where to find me. Even st- maybe doing mm-hmm. a couple other things over the course of the next month as we get ready for Shadow Keep. Taking mm-hmm. little breathers here and there, maybe playing some other things. Mm-hmm. Uh, but definitely follow all of us in all the places. We may mm-hmm. flip this to a couple Friday nights, depending on yes. schedules are like and guests and things. Mm-hmm. Working on a couple. Um, mm-hmm. So if you guys don't see us in the morning. <laughs> Check Twitter. We will be putting up the notifications there. So follow all of us if you don't already. Um, just at Ebontis, at Lord Cognito, at Last Word Pod. Mm-hmm. All at of Last those Word places. Pod, yes. Yeah, follow mm-hmm. our Twitter account if you guys haven't yet for the podcast itself. Mm-hmm. So if you do have changes for schedules for guests, you don't want to miss those because the guests are fun. Yes. That's all I got, though. We got more to digest next week, it sounds like, with sandbox Ooh, changes coming. So love probably it. another things. Um Shout out to mm-hmm. Kevin and Chad. Glad the PC is running smooth for you. Another nice. one on the PC Master Race there. Ah, another convert. Another yeah. convert. Nice. Gotta have them. Uh, nice. But that's all we got. Good so Zer will be coming. This will be up on audio. So if you guys don't catch this live, uh, check mm-hmm. iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, any podcast platform you listen to. Take us with you on the go if the video's just a bit too much. But everything else, uh, I'm going to send you guys over to say hey to one actual Cool guy over there, just definitely working on some PvP stuff, I think. Uh, So thank you guys very much. This has been episode number 72. It is September 6th. Thank you guys very much. And for both of us, it has been The Last Word.